Hey, hey. How you doing, Fight Fans? EJ Boxing Live here. Some of the best channels here on YouTube. We have Boxing Beats of Rhymes. How you doing, Beats? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. What's happening? Chris Caban. How you doing, Chris? What's up? What's up? Alrighty then, man. We're going to discover, go over this week's fights or fights or may or not missed. Um, we're going to jump straight into it. We ain't waste no time. Talk about the contrary first of the weekend. Tim Bradley versus Jesse Vargas. Box and beast of rhymes. Give us your take, my friend. Well, Tim won well, but he got caught in the 12th, you know. But, you know, like Jesse's trying to get the decision overturned, apparently. So he's not too happy. But I don't think he's got much of a case if the referee made a mistake. Of, um, I don't know if he, if he, him and the timekeeper were out of sync or if the, there's rung the bell too early, I don't know what happened. But I don't think Jeffrey Jesse's got a case. You know, he was soundly beaten. You know, it wasn't like he, he – you can't say he nearly knocked Bradley out. He landed one good shot. So if there was time left, we would have seen if Bradley could have survived or not. I don't think he's got a case. You know, that's boxing. He got clipped, you know. But, yeah, Bradley out outclassed him. Bradley outclassed him for the most part. He was land outlanding him at least – I ain't got the stats, but at least two to three to one. Better hand speed, foot speed. Jesse was talking all that Mexican tough guy shit, and he, he didn't live up to that. Yeah, it was a decent fight. It was a decent fight. And the drama at the end made it really, you know, compelling. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so you know what, yeah? Do you think in your mind, is you think it's cause for a rematch with what you saw? No. No, none at all, yeah? The, the no. drama got, he hasn't got... There's no chance of, like, him winning the fight. You think you would have... Like, thing would have gone knocked out. Bradley would have gone knocked out. No, 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 no. no that's, that's the way I saw it, man. Chris Caban, what's your take, man? Bradley soundly beat that dude. The dude didn't, that lucky, he landed a shot, Lloyd, 10 seconds left on, 12 seconds left on the clock. That is not enough to overturn the fight. He got beat the first 11 rounds, all 11 rounds, and some of the 12th round until he landed that punch. I think he got outclassed. Stop crying. <laughs> So you don't think there's you don't think he would have got knocked out either in the last round? No, I don't think he would have gotten knocked out. Is there a cause for a rematch? I don't want to see Jesse Vargas get beat up again. Oh. Hey, right, we got T over here, man. How you doing, T? Nah, no, just listening. Go ahead, man. If you want to come to me, I'm ready for you. Yeah, I'm ready for can you. Hear me? Can you hear me good over there? Loud and clear, loud and clear, my brother. Like, so what's your take? Uh, Bradley Vargas. I don't um, Bradley a dog, man. He just dog Vargas. Like, he, he wouldn't let up on him. I mean, he didn't have a reach advantage. Jesse didn't do enough with the jab. He didn't let his hands go enough. Uh, I mean, as far as the rematch part, um, man, like, I, I got to kind of give him credit. Like, I mean, I got to take something from him and say, you took so long to do it. But let me first say Bradley wasn't getting stopped, okay? Like, Period. Like, no doubt in my mind, he caught two right, two left hooks right on the gloves. He caught two punches. He grabbed on tight. He was in there, like he said, and plus we know Tim Bradley. Period. He's not getting stopped by Jesse Vargas with four seconds left on the clock. But um, as far as the rematch, man, I'm leaning both ways. I mean, I wasn't big on the fight. I'm still not big on Jesse Vargas. But at the end of the day, fairness to a fighter. Um, it's fairness to a fighter, no matter what side of the pendulum I'm on. So he kind of, um, you know, he just took too long. If he gets the rematch, it's deserved. He don't get it. Don't cry because you did take too long. I mean, Bradley might adjust to that big right hand, but then again, Bradley got caught by a few right hands all night because um, he he he, never, he really never fought a pure boxer that he couldn't keep the range. With, well, didn't have a reach advantage like that on or had that kind of reach advantage. I, I just never seen Bradley have to do that, and then it showed that he uh, that he struggled with it a little bit. But as far as a rematch, man, I'm either way on it. It's not a fight I'm huge on, but I watch it. Mm. So these are the scorecards, yeah. United Division. We got one judge, one seventeen, one eleven. One judge, one sixteen, one twelve, and the other judge, one fifteen, one twelve. Like ah, uh, fifteen, one twelve, man. I have a problem with that, bro. I mean, I got Bradley. I got Vargas got the fourth, third round. I think it was the third or fourth, one of them. And then just obviously the last round, he probably got that round. But that's like two rounds, and some people are saying it's a 10-8. They want a 10-8. If he went down, I'll give it a 10-8. But he didn't go down. Tim Bradley said everything. He held it on. 
and he didn't like. I know he was hurt, but he was doing all the right things to let the fight continue. The referee got it wrong, but that's not Bradley's fault. I don't know why, like uh, Max Kellogg was going off on Bradley. So in my opinion, there's no reason for a rematch, man. He got soundly beaten, and I don't know what Eric Mor- Eric Morales had. Bob was working on the big right, uh, left, whatever it is, yeah. But other than that, yeah, like Vargas looked terrible, man. But hold on, give me, give me, give me a rundown on what uh, Max said to Tim. Are you talking about the post fight interview? Yeah, what did he post- say to Tim? It was telling basically he was trying to make out like like Vargas deserves a rematch, and he was trying to they were trying to make out like he could have been stopped within the ten seconds, and he was just trying to make it out like it was Bradley's fault. The referee intervened. Like, I mean. What do you guys think about it? I don't think it's the ref. That's the referee. The referee. I think the referee said he might be retiring after the fight as well. But Vargas making a meat of it, man. Damage control. That's all it is from Vargas and, and Morales. Is damage control. That's, they they lost the fight, Sam. Do you reckon? Hey, uh, T. Did you hear what Vargas was saying coming into the fight? So he ain't losing no black dude. You, you didn't hear that, did you? Uh, no. I just heard him say that the um. That the Mexican is normally like the strongest, you know, like the has the most heart or something like that. But I didn't hear the not losing the black guy. Well, he he sure lost the one. So in the way, he was in the way before the fight. We like we played it and heard it. He said like you know, uh, with it, well, he didn't say it. Tim Bradley re- repeated what what he said. Vargas said to him that um, Vargas said he ain't losing to no black dude. The Mexican dude is the stronger dude. So. But that's Tim Bradley put it on him, bro. Tim Bradley looked like a completely outclassed him, bro. Like, Vargas looked terrible. And I know if it's because he moved up to 147. Well, maybe Tim Bradley just shut him down. But Vargas looked like he was completely on another level, man. He looked terrible, man. I mean, yeah, ask yourself who he could have beat. Like, Vargas, who he could have beat that night at welterweight. But, uh... <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good point, man. I, I used him against uh, Bruno. Ah, shit, man. I, I don't know. I can't never call a Broner fight. Cause I, I mean, look, the bad Broner he beats, the better Broner, the trained Broner, he ain't going to beat him. But it's two Broners. I don't know what Broner is yet. You know, I don't, I just can't. Matter of fact, I'm just going to be quiet because I don't know. What about Porter? What about Porter? This, this is for everyone anyway. Hell no. He well, doesn't Broner, like you know, pressure. Broner, Broner no. has to fight on. So we, can, we, can, we have to discuss Broner. It's not, we can't just dismiss Broner out of conversation. Brona will fight on. Brona has to go back to some fundamentals. I don't know where he starts, but you know, he has to go back to some fundamentals. He has to change some things. Some things has to change, and he has to he has, he has to make the adjustments. But would you ever be comfortable betting? Would you be comfortable betting on him? No, like I, I'm never gonna be comfortable betting on Adrian Braun. No, he's got able to prove. He's got. I, I didn't say anything about um, be having faith in him. I'm just saying he's he's too young to retire, so he's going to be here regardless or not. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's got to make some adjustments, and he's got to make some fine tuning and modifications, some changes, and staff staff changes. And we'll see. Well, if he's a gatekeeper, that's what he is. That's what he is. Vargas looks like some gatekeeper to me. Vargas will beat. Vargas will beat Broner. Why would Vargas beat Broner? Vargas got to learn. Vargas, Vrona is garbage to me, Beats. Well, so is Jesse Vargas. Yeah. Yeah, it'd, it'd be the battle of the garbage um, people at 147 there. I know, I've got Vrona beating Vargas. Yeah. I've got Vrona beating Vargas, man. Hey, man. Chris Rizzo ain't no day. I ain't hating. Who? I ain't even hating. At 140, I have Vrona beating Vargas. Bro, too. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. Without a delay. No, no delay there. I, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, grown up, like, Vargas looked like crap. He did. Crap. <laughs> he telegraphed his shots. Everything. His, his footwork was telegraphed. Everything was telegraphed. He looked, just looked clumsy. Yeah. The, like, his, his feet looked heavy, man. I don't know what, what Morales it's is trying to do. That stance is real wide, man. Like, I, he's yeah. just super wide, too. Hey, you think if Bruno's in the corner, he would have looked any better against Tim Bradley? I, I, I mean, I believe I believe Tim Bradley makes an ugly makes an ugly fight anytime he fights. Like you gotta take that into account. Like Vargas has looked technically sound at times, and other times he's been in the wars. Like you didn't think he'd be in here win the fight easy because he was the A side of the promotion. But Bradley just got a way of making. I mean, one man. I, I mean, when I seen Bradley and Marquez was one of the most watchable, unwatchable fights I ever seen because he had Marquez looking like a brand new, a brand new fighter that was not better than the old fighter we were used to seeing. So he got a way of doing that. So 
Just like Porter May Braun and look. Yeah. Yo, what's making that noise, man? Whoever's like told me to mute. I think you, Caban, the brother Caban, you need to put yourself on mute if you ain't talking. But listen, listen this year. Uh, the question is, the question's up, yeah? Like, what was the question again? The question was about who Vargas. Does, who, who, who does Vargas? Yeah, I, I asked, who does Vargas be that 147? The way he, what you saw last night, who would he be that 147? Danny Vargas is probably a good fight for that guy. Danny, Danny, Danny Garcia. Garcia. Yes, Vargas. Danny Garcia in a murks him, though, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Him, though, man. I, would, I, would, I like to see him fight Bruno. I, I agree with the Vargas fight. I agree with Beast on the Vargas fight, man. Uh, a Vargas, uh, Danny Garcia fight. I, I, I agree there. Yeah. So shit, man. He is so crap. Man. Like, he might find his way if the WBA lets him keep that 140 title. He might find his way back down to 140. That's, that's, that's a possibility. He's got the fucking gall and the fucking rudeness yet to fucking complain. That's the fucking thing. Yeah, he hit him with a shot, yeah? That yeah. is rally, but so what, man? You know what I mean? Like, so what? I right, hit him. But, you know, end of the day, yeah, he was hurt. But, you know, provoked knock of hurt. He didn't go down. So, you know, we've been moving we I mean, I, I mean, just think what we'd had to do with the referee at this point. It's two, it's two other scenarios we could be looking at. I thought that motherfucker stopped the fight. And I'm thinking to myself, like, huh? Four seconds left. Well, I, was thinking, I was thinking of Mildred Taylor versus um, Chavez. That's what I was thinking at the time. Oh, when he yeah, yeah, but, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, but this is the thing here. That, like, Vargas has got, because Vargas he was pitching a shutout. Like, sorry, Bradley was pitching a complete exactly. shutout. Exactly. Yeah, I could. Uh, yeah, so, so, hold on, Beast. I want to ask you, so you feel like Taylor versus Chavez was a bad stoppage or a good stoppage? No, I thought that was a good stoppage. Okay, no, I was meaning in a way that, I mean, I thought Taylor had got broken down a few rounds in, and then it was, yeah, it was time to stop the fight, not just. No, I'm just know, talking like, about. I'm just, I'm just about talking about the, with the time where the, where the fights were terminated. That's yeah, what, I mean, I mean, I thought the referee the hopped in and stopped Bradley. Like I just, I told myself this guy ain't landed a punch since he hurt him, and you jumped in and stopped this fight. I'm thinking, what the hell did Top Rank tell this dude to do, man? Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> You know, make Bradley look fucking bad, and then Max, Max Kellum trying to shit on all over Bro, trying to shit over Bradley, man. I was like, what's this, man? I think I Bradley like, gonna spoil their plans. Bradley, that's all. Bradley, what was that? Bradley spoiled their plans. They were trying to make a Pacquiao fight with Vargas. So what would you, what would you guys say if he stopped Bradley? Like in that same scenario, what would you be saying right now? Bro, I'll be fucking gunning Bradley, man. Like you dumb. Like how you gonna let this dude come back and stop you? Like, I would have done Bradley. But Bradley, Bradley, for me, like, he got hit. He covered up. He hold it on. He did what he did to do. I, I, I can't even diss the dude, man. Because you know what? Yeah, Bradley was beat. We were watching the fight. We was, there was pits in it. We thought Bradley was going to stop Vargas the way he was beating the shit out of him. Crap, he was beating him all over the place, man. There were spots in there where, where he was just making Jesse look stupid, bro. I didn't see I didn't see him stopping Vargas, but, man, I, I, I oh, man, shit. He beat him up pretty good. But I thought Jesse was gonna stick around for the four twelve. I did not predict what that should happen with that last punch. But I, I mean, I, I can only imagine if they would have stopped Bradley. What we be hearing right now, man? I know I've seen one YouTuber already saying that they robbed him of money. That Bradley was about to get stopped. Um, I just don't see that. Shit. Like I mean, even if you knock him down, all he gotta do is get back up. There's no more time left, man. Like you, there's no fucking possible way he was stopping him. So if they don't give him a rematch, I don't give a shit. Like he showed nothing, self, nothing to the end. Yeah, but what's Kenny oh, Bailey? What's Kenny? What's up with Kenny Bailey's scorecard, man? One, one fifteen, one twelve. Did you see this fight a three point fight? I, I didn't. No. Three point fight. Did anyone have it a three point? I didn't. Like the the oh, scorecard oh. one eleven, one seventeen. I, I that. 111, 111, like, it's even close, 116, 112. But, like, 115, one, like, what the fuck, man? Come on. Name, name, name the last big fight that Kenny Bayless actually scored, though, besides reffing it. What's the last one y'all know? I don't know, man. He needs to stop. Right? He needs to stop being the score table, man, because I don't know what's wrong with his eyesight. Well, and would it be an ugly fight like that? Like, like Bradley's one of those hard uh, fights to score. Like, and and he does himself no favor. But it wasn't his fault. He didn't have no reach advantage here. You couldn't. He wasn't just going to outright win the jabbing battle with Jesse Vargas. With no, I mean Vargas ain't that damn bad. 
You know, like if you he got the reach, he might win a jabbing battle. So like it's ugly things he had to do, and I can understand somebody's close score. I could not wait in hell imagine Jesse win the fight, but I can imagine somebody saying, "Oops, one sixteen, one fifteen. But especially inside the arena, man, like ah, it was just a nasty fight. Yeah, I, I I don't know, man. I feel I I think yeah, I, I feel like Chris said they try to set like people up and and that referee thing and all that shit was fucking it was abysmal, man. Yeah. He, he wasn't bad to the end. Mm. What? Well, you know, yeah, to yeah. that to that to that end part, he wasn't a bad ref. I felt. I think you know. I think it's good for Bradley in a way because you will entice more guys to fight him. I mean, if you're Mayweather and you're looking at a non-puncher like Vargas, you can hurt Bradley. If you're maybe if you're thinking, hold on a minute, if Bradley swelling calms down, you maybe might be thinking, you know what? I might just take this Bradley fight here, bro, because Jesse hurt him. So that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? He seems vulnerable. So if you're looking at it that way, it's marketable that you get him in. But another thing Chris pointed out, man, the place wasn't sold out, or was it? Was it sold out? Chris was pointing out like the place was empty. A little empty to me. The, one, the, was, uh, the first fight was. That's what they turn the lights. That's what they, yeah, that's what they turn the lights down, on Chris, on the outside, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so you couldn't see the empty seats, right? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Well, anyways, man. Um. Yeah. So that's it, man. So far on that, man. What we gonna talk about? Um. There was some other cop fights in the Bundu. I didn't get a chance to see the Bundu fight. There was Dominic Wade versus Sam Solomon. So we can talk about that fight. Anyone see that fight? Nope. Yeah, I caught it. Yeah, I caught it as well, man. Um, shame. Uh, Please see it, though, because that's controversial. People had people thought Sam Sonnen won the fight, even though he got knocked down in the fight. Go ahead, T, talk on it, man. Oh, shit, man. Um, I'll just say this. Sam Solomon, I will not never complain if I don't ever see him fight again. <laughs> <laughs> He does. He does this shit. I mean, I I told myself not to even watch the fight because I already knew it was gonna be a yawn fest for me. And I I remember just the Jermaine Taylor fight like it was yesterday. I I'm fighting, slobbing over my plate of food. I fix and I I damn near would have been doing it again. It's just it's just a it's a bull matter though. Go ahead. No, no one's talking, bro. Go ahead. It's it's bull matter though with uh, Sam Solomon, man. Like and. If you don't got great time and he gonna make you look, oh man, like it's just gonna make you look like you're not even a good fighter. And you might be a good prospect. I mean, it's a tough fight for a prospect to take. I I really didn't score the fight. I saw it as a pretty even fight because it was just him getting caught with straighter punches and him jumping in, landing his shorter punches. And I mean, I could see how either way, but I didn't like like a 97, 93 or something like that. I remember seeing. Uh, but like I said, if I never see Sam again, it's probably best if he go because that leg was still giving out on him anyways. Like time and time again, you see it just jig legging on him. <laughs> yeah, man. Sam, no, Sam sort of, he actually put up a good performance, actually. I don't think he won the fight. A lot of people did think he won the fight. The knockdown was not a knockdown. If you look at it, he actually hit the glove. It didn't actually um, turn the – it didn't actually land on Sam Solomon. It kind of more or less pushed him over. But, you know, because like you said – his dodgy leg, he went over, but none of them really. Sam Solomon, it was a close fight, but a lot of people kind of the sympathy. Sam Solomon seemed like he put a lot of work, and he made Wade look stupid, man. The spots he made Wade look stupid, and I think people didn't. Know, but I think Wade done enough to win the fight, and I, I, I'm cool with the school cards. But a lot of people have been upset. Um, I know you guys listening might feel some type of way. If you do, just leave your comments in the comment section. We'll address it as as we proceed. But like for me, I think the right guy won the fight, so. Um, I, I see it like this. You gotta give Wade credit. He just fought a um. What the guy lost his belt one fight ago. I think he had one fight in between this one. Maybe you gotta give him credit. He was really holding the middleweight strap that he earned, and he beat a guy that you know he might be a top ten middleweight right now. Wade is after winning that fight. Ah, uh, I mean, possibly, but I don't see him winning anything. To be honest with you. You're right. No, no, he might no, he might never win a title, but I'm just saying like at the top ten, I'm saying Solomon was a belt holder, a yeah. legitimate belt holder and, and Wade went in there and beat him and that's not a, that's not a style you want to fight. You don't go in the boxing gym and learn how to fight Sam Solomon on a regular basis. You go in there and learn how to fight other people that has a technique and Sam Solomon is something of a different element, man. It's crazy. You're right, man, you're right. I mean well, we saw him against Jim to maintain the bro. And Jermaine Taylor put a war pass on him, bro. <laughs> Jermaine Taylor just shot him out. 
Even though people, uh, I, I, I can't say that. I can't say. I thought Solomon was winning and beating oh, Taylor. Oh, I did. I did, oh, man. I, thought, oh, I ain't see that. Oh, I thought Solomon was beating Taylor. Like he was oh. ahead on the scorecards. Y'all didn't see. Y'all don't remember no, that. I, I didn't see that, bro. I didn't see that. Oh, yes. I see the size and jab shut him down. And he, yeah, right. I, oh, right. I didn't see that. Oh no. <laughs> Explain that one to you. Explain that one. I, I thought both. I thought both of them should have been. I thought for the, the fact that Solomon is just some. I don't. I thought he should have been out the ring after that, and I thought Taylor was should be out the ring after that as well. I was telling myself, hey, if this guy had a leg. I remember my conversations at the fight, and if he just had his legs, he would have. I think he would have decision Taylor. And the knockdowns was about as worse as Pacquiao versus um Algeria, man. Some of them things weren't even knockdown. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're right about that. But it, look, look, man, you got to look. This is Jermaine, Jermaine Taylor, former undisputed champ, or former undisputed middleweight champion. Listen, bro. If, if the thing is, yeah, people may be swayed by the brain bleed and all that, but that didn't matter, man. The man, the man leaned on him, and the leg injury happened because I mean, when he came into ring, he was fine. Jermaine Taylor leaned on him, right, and he put his weight, and that's what messed up Solomon's leg. He beat him soundly up, man. Sally and we, we were oh, man. Shoot. Oh, I, 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 don't how, I don't know how you saw that fight any because I was like, man, that fight was even I thought it was a, it was a I thought it was a hundred percent terrible fight and and it, you know the patient I thought the patient was favoring Solomon. Uh I just I just seen what I saw, man. It wasn't it wasn't great. I remember it being down in Biloxi, Mississippi, because at first I was gonna go to it, and then I told myself, what the hell do I look like going to watch Sam Solomon fight? <laughs> <laughs> but I I mean I, I what was it on wasn't it on um, Fox ESPN. or was that ESPN? ESPN. ESPN or Fox? Yeah, man. Like I, I my memory of that fight just says it was a terrible fight. Taylor got them knockdowns. They were phantom. A lot of them were phantom knockdowns. I, what was it about? Six? Yeah. How many do you have? Nah, man, you be you be you be, you be hating all day like like bloody night. No, no, nah, nah, man. He he done like Taylor done, man. Like he done that boxing. Taylor, I thought Taylor could go on to fight face Triple G. I think he'll give a Triple Woo! G. Lord, what do you nah, want this man? Nah, I thought he'll give a Triple G. I think you man that right hand and that left hook. Man, look, Triple G never tasted nothing like that, man. I thought he would give Triple G a nice battle. No, thank you. No, I think Taylor should enjoy his children, man, get his sanity right, and enjoy his kids instead of going in there with Triple G, man. Fair play, fair play. All right, we're moving on. Let's talk about another middleweight prospect. We're going to talk about Gilbert Ramirez versus Derek Edwards. Did you see that fire, T? Uh, I didn't. I went with the way I went with the uh, prospects over that. Uh, with the, I went with Eric Lubison and uh, and uh, the thing they had heavyweight prospect and I can't remember the name right now. And uh, the fight we just talked about, I went with that over that fight. Yeah, the heavyweight prospect. Yeah, I, I, I yeah he looked like a uh, Mir Mansoor a little bit. Dude, he look he look fast footed, man. Dude got some good feet to be that big. Yeah, you two talk about that. Talk about the heavyweight prospect. What do you guys think about that? That, that was. Uh, that was an undercard of the the the, the Bradley and the Vargas fight, right? Uh, no, it was, it was a show. It was a Fox. That was a Fox card, yeah. Or the show was It was it was a show next generation card. It was a Showtime yeah, next generation. All right, my bad, my bad. Yeah, talk about that. Go ahead. That dude looked like he got some power to me. He got some power. It looked like. You know what? Right, for, for everyone listening, for everyone listening, tell them which guy you're talking about, so we, the people know you're talking about, him, Chris. I can't forget. I forget the brother name. I know he built like a member. So what's his name, too? Oh uh, man, I'm trying to sit here and remember myself. Uh, damn, man, I'm gonna look it up. I I I don't even know where to begin looking it up, but I'm gonna try to look it up real quick. Yeah, he did knock them out. It was a quick. It was quick though. <laughs> Oh really? Man, it was it was dangerous. Dude, he dangerous, man. He look he look like he can give some people some problems the way he come. Like I don't know how he gonna deal with somebody who gonna pop a jab in his face. But if he walk through it, if he walking through some jabs and got some head movement for it, dude gonna be a beast. That's how I see it. Uh, oh, shit. Like he got he needs some more. Um, go ahead. Tip, it remind me of Amir, Amir Mansour a little bit. The heavyweight yeah. Amir Mansour. He gonna he gonna um he gonna have to have some discipline because he sure could have got disqualified for that shit he pulled. Man, yeah, he, he, he like punched the shit out, dude. Man, down dude, the knee. 
Yeah, that dude took it. He obviously was on the knee. It took him two seconds to say, okay, I see you on the knee, and he still hit him. Now, you guys, <laughs> now you guys need to know, tell, tell the people who you're talking about, so we got some names. Give us some names. I'm going to find some names out here, bro. Ah, uh, show is... How can I look up the last Showtime card? That's what that's what you got to give me, a way to yeah, look up I, the last. I, I, I saw that. I, I know you're talking about, though, but like, for the people listening, all right, you know what? This this don't mind. Don't worry. You ain't got it. Don't if worry. you don't, you should have said so. No, no, I'm the same because the people are listening, they're thinking, they're thinking who you're talking about. Like, I'm thinking. Uh, but, uh, but when they see him, they gonna wanna, they should want to follow his progress. So this was his first fight, they said, in, on TV or in America, either one. Um, Let's see right here. Yeah, because it was a good fight, right? But we, we'll t- right, Chris, go ahead. Tell us about the fight while T looks up. Um, it wasn't really no fight. The dude, he comes forward. He's aggressive. But like um, T said, I want to see how he deals with somebody because he's wide open to get hit with a jab and get hit with a right hand because the way he rushes in. But he can punch, right, though. Here we, go. here we go. Here we go. Um, Heavyweight. Oscar Rivas, that's his name, Oscar Rivas. Who was he, who was he fighting against? Uh, I remember the guy who was fighting, his name was Petaway. I know that name for a reason. Um, Yeah, Petaway. Yeah, he, he, let's say, well, I'm going to look up some weight and height on Rivas. They got him at 6'1", uh, so he's not a tall heavyweight, and you, you'll be able to see that right off the bat. You know, that's why we're talking about how he's going to deal with a jab, because he's, he's not going to fight nobody from the outside, depending on who he's in there with. But the feet are fast, man, like, he he out in the with the footwork he's there man with the power too he's there but you know who what you gonna do when somebody punching back you know yeah, I didn't really pay attention I really didn't pay much attention was he bringing his hands back on his punches because he knew he had meat in front of him and dude was just falling for him man dude, that wasn't that good either we gotta say that the dude wasn't that good he had no boxing ability to keep him off of him he had no jab he just walked through him. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool, uh, yeah, he said he was an Olympian. They say he was an Olympian, so you know, with that, man, you might see a good week. Uh, they, I don't think he medaled. I ain't sure if they said he medaled on the telecast, but he was an Olympian. Uh, so, you know, that amateur background might likely he he going to be pulling his punches back, know how to deal with that, whatever it is. But I can't remember his first American uh, fight over here in America. Or, I think it's the first fight in America and the American television debut. Mm-hmm. All right, cool, man. Well, you know, there was a lot of fights over there, not necessarily big time host household names. Like I said, uh, Gil Marim, um, Ramirez uh, fought with Derek Edwards for the, what, was, what belt was it? For the, e, one second, Dobio interim super middleweight. Well, Gil Ramirez, they, um, James the girl's thinking about maybe with it, and Eddie Home was talking about this guy might be next to James the girl, and this is why uh, we can talk about it. But I'll tell you what, I like to put this guy against Callum Smith. That's what I'd like to see. They're both undefeated, and I'd love to see that. I don't, I don't necessarily rate Callum Smith and Gilbert Ramirez. I, he hasn't fought no notable names either, being Derek Edwards for the Dojo interim. So I'd like to see this guy Gilbert Ramirez versus um, Callum Smith who fought on the weekend as well. I think the winner out of them two deserve should should try and fight for a title, man, because. Um, I mean, this guy might be fighting George Grove. They're building his record up. His record, um, his record is 32 wins with 24 knockouts, no draws, no losses. So he's, you know, so and he's, um, he's, uh, what was his, what was he? 24 years old. So he needs to, he needs to step up and fight some names right here, man. You know, you can't be getting away with like, your record just accumulating numbers. And then, boy, like, there's no notable names in his record right here. So and the same with Callum Smith. I mean. Callum Smith, step up. Good Maria, step up. They should fight each other. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Will you guys? Did, did, I want to ask you: Did Ramirez look like? I mean, I know he had a height and reach advantage out of this world versus Derek Edwards. I knew Edwards coming into the fight, so I already knew that was the case. But I, I like I said, I didn't check him out because I was more interested in the prospects for whatever reason. But um. Did he even? Did he have any boxing ability? Like pumping a jab? Did he give his height up? Was he brawling or was he boxing? That was. To me, it looked like it was as easy for him, man, just to use his jab and just basically be him. He's tall for the weight as well. Like, like also like Callum Smith, he just easily boxed him, man. This guy's gonna be in line for one of the belts. Maybe he's trying to get in with the double bill belt. Maybe he's trying to get in line with um, with what's his name again. Arthur Abraham, so maybe he's trying to go that route and leave James. Well, after this is the thing, after what he saw James the Girl did to Darrell, he said fuck that shit. Or when he saw uh, Buddy Jack 
beat up the other Jarrell, but he said, fuck that, like, I'm going to go after the after Abrahams. <laughs> That's what he was as well, like, because right. before he was he was coming, they would, the, James, James the girl, Eddie Hearn, they were saying, he's, he might be next. He was gonna I, think people, I think people are sleeping on 168, man. What's these days? He's got talent, bro. I, and, I, and I believe the main sleeper is that Badu Jack, man. Like, he, he impressed me. Like, he been knocked. What, wasn't it Derek that was the knocked him out? No. No. Wasn't it? Derek somebody. I believe it was Derek Edwards. He got caught. I, he, got yeah. caught. he got caught cold. He got <laughs> caught cold. The same Derek Edwards who knocked out Badu Jackson, and he got he got decision by, I think. So, yeah. hey, hey, I don't know, man. But Ramirez is, Ramirez is beating him. Possibly, man. Easy. I, I, tell, I tell you this, man. When I seen Badu Jack done something a little better in the, the rail for it, man, he, he impressed me not because he was great or not, because he showed a willingness to box and get on the inside and then take the dog out the rail leg. That shit impressed me, man. So, I, I mean, I think that division going to get slept on. And whoever, you know, George Grove versus Badu Jack, I got my eye on that close. Mm -hmm. Definitely, man. Jay Dills just jumped in. What up, Jay Dills? Hey, what up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just talking about Ramirez, Ramirez decision in Eric Derek Edwards. You see that fight? Ramirez? Yeah. Um, no, but I know the results of the fight, but no, I didn't see the fight. All right, cool, cool, cool. cool. All right, man. All right, we, we, let's change up for you then. Talk about um, Vargas, Jesse Vargas and um, Tim Bradley, right? Favorite fighter, Bradley. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us, what, tell us, tell us your take on the fight, bro. And uh, do you agree with the, the decision? Do you agree... That Jesse could have knocked him out with with, with time left. Yeah, I seen Kendall Halt hurt Bradley. I seen Bradley recover from that, and, Bra and Halt hits a lot harder than Vargas. I seen what Providen did, and for some reason Bradley stayed for most of that stuff. You think Jesse Vargas was really going to get with Tim Bradley? If I was Bradley, I would just kneel down like I did with Providen and be like, "All right." The bell saved my ass. Okay. Nobody needs to see another fight. Um, you you just don't put enough pressure. You're not active enough. You you only had a puncher's chance against me, really. So who do you you you're not good enough, kid. And I'm gonna make this point out. If Amir Khan can constantly get hurt in fights and don't have to rematch muff, then Timothy Bradley don't have to do it. So that's how I good can point. Say. Good point. Good point. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's not the 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 same uh, ending result, you know. They try to argue that on you, but he does get hurt multiple times. So, yeah, good point. Well, and, and and you spoke the truth. Bradley's not going nowhere. That's you know four seconds, man. You could have hit you could have hit Bradley with three bricks, and I think he would have still been standing there for, for four seconds. Like he knew what was going on. He heard that ten second. He heard that ten second mark, and just too damn bad that the referee. You know, he blew it. It's not Bradley for. I put the referee. I, I, I don't know, man. It just, it just, it just. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Bradley's face would swell up, though, man. I was thinking, where would that swelling come from? Oh, no, no, no. Where did yeah, Where would that swelling come from? I don't know where that swelling came from, though. That was the same. That was the same side of his face that he took them head butts in. He was getting hit. He was getting hit. Yeah, I'm talking about the fight before that. He had those um head butts yeah. from Chavez. And you start banging that same spot. I guess it was just tissue inflammation, and boom. He's wearing tear, man. He's wearing he's, he's wearing tear. Like, yeah. There's a few fights he hasn't closed out without getting tagged and hurt. You know, mm. I mean, wearing tear is set, setting in there. You know. And you know what? And I still let's say if he wants the Triple G fight, give it to him. Give yeah, it to him. Why not? If I he's say give it to him. Thinks he can do it. <laughs> Why not? I said give it to him at 154 if they can do no, it at 154. No, he said 160, man. No, he said 160. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, he did, he did, he did. I yeah, got to take his word for it. But, yeah. but if I was his manager, if I was, you know, well, I, that's his wife, so I ain't going to say if I was his manager because I had to be his wife too. But, you know, uh, if I was promoting, I would I would shoot for 154 and say, hey, you said you could meet so-and-so. Do yourself a favor and fight a pound-for-pound, pound, you know, a pound-for-pound pound ring fight at 154. And I think, you know, they both got a good little name. That that fight it definitely could sell. I think he kinda backtracked after the fight to be honest with you know. Oh, on that what, on that promise he said? Yeah, yeah, I think he backtracked. I think what did he, he say? What did he say? Let me know. He said they asked him about triple G he goes, Man, you know, I think I can beat Klitschko. 
That's exactly what he was. See, I saw a couple oh, of yeah. I saw that. I saw that. He said, if Klitschko ain't got a dance partner, I'm available. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll fight anyone, man. But I just, because I'm just going to leave it up to my team and I'm going to let them all sort it out. You know, I, I feel like I can be anyone, but then, you know, I'm just going to let my team pick my opponent, you know, my wife and stuff like that. So I think he kind of backtracked on that. I think he knew that that statement is, is, is probably absurd. And I think he was just, I think it was, you know what I'm saying? I think, I think what Beach was saying before. It was coming at the fight night, and I think he was just using it to try and get into Vargas' head all the time. But, but is, it, is, it fair, is it fair to say just because Vargas can hit him with that right hand, Triple G can hit him with that right hand? Yeah, he, I think he knows that, man. I think he knows that. Is that fair to say? Is that truly fair to say, though? Yeah, well, yeah, it is. Well, some, not even that right hand, but hit him with something. Triple G go hit him all over the place. And the thing is, yeah, I think he was thinking to this. This is my point, right? That a non-puncher like Vargas could hurt him, and he was thinking about this. A non-puncher like Vargas who came up from 140 could hurt him. He's thinking what the other guys can do when they're older weight. So I think he might bear that in mind. The, the right shot, but the, I, I I got two arguments for that. The right shot gonna hurt anyone. The right shot, weight class, none. It's gonna hurt anyone. And then the second argument is the style of the fight. The style of how it happened. Tim Bradley was coming in, closing the distance. At what point would he have to be closing the distance versus Triple G? If anything, he's gonna get inside very quick but triple you know like it's not gonna be what he's doing it constantly and triple g's getting a read on it he well, was can't, constantly well, he can't box triple g at range so what's he gonna do he has to come inside he has to no 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 he he could be the outboxer in the ring yeah, he can't be the outboxer against triple g he can't he can't, he can't. at, at he points can't. and times he could no, be that he, he, he got the foot speed no event he got the foot speed he couldn't. But does he have a foot speed advantage? Can we five just agree ten. that he has the foot speed advantage? No, he couldn't. He couldn't. Five foot ten. Mine has got a way longer reach. No, 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 no. Jab. He couldn't be the outboxer in that fight. He couldn't be the outboxer. Just, just agree to disagree that he has the foot speed advantage, yes or no? Yeah, but that's not going to make him be the outboxer. It gives him a chance to be. No, his only chance of fighting for fit my guy is, be, is being up. He, he can't. How's he gonna box Triple G at range? Oh, but, uh, and, I know what point that is. And I, I do agree. I do agree that he could get in his chest at times. That's what I just said. Like he's gonna have to mix up the attack. You know he, what? He, I, I, Jesse Vargas had the reach of what? Is Jesse Vargas look slow as shit? So Tim was that quick. So is Tim gonna be that quick? You know what I'm trying to say? That's the point. Like, is he gonna be that quick to? Listen, I'll man. Be listen, to, listen, listen, listen. My guy is bigger. Uh, he's a way different, vastly different animal to Jesse Vargas. Man. True. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, comparing that is, I don't know. I think I think this procrastinated the debate. I'm just gonna be honest. I always speak my mind. But, 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 no, but no, no, no. But but Vargas is sitting back timing. Vargas is at least sitting back trying to time. Vargas in this fight was attempting to be the outboxer. That's what I'm trying to say. And I don't see Triple G attempting to be the outboxer and sit and time Timothy Bradley the way that Jesse Vargas tried to do at certain points and to work a jab to keep him at bay. Triple G wants to be. Stalking. I've never seen him want to circle the ring with opponent. He wants to be on the stalk, and I think Bradley can give him that at times, and also at times cut the distance, make sure it's not like he was doing with Vargas over and over and over again to the point that you can be timed. He would have been timed earlier by a better fighter than Vargas. But I, I give him a shot, man. I really give him I give him uh, a go. Uh, nah, I don't give him. To you, T, I'll be honest with you, yeah. I agree with Beats, man. Like, it's not, I don't give him no time. fine. That's that's fine. That's a hundred percent fine. But I I would watch the fight. I would I would not make a comparison no, of no, Jesse Vargas to Triple G. No chance. I, like I I'm, I'm not making an opinion of no chance. I'm just saying, how can Bradley be the outboxer against Triple G? How does that work? It, I'm not. I'm not saying he's going to twelve rounds fully circle around the ring and pull, try to do a Willie Monroe and give the ring, give Triple G just hey you let me move where I want to move or, 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 or where you want me to move. Excuse me, cut me down at all times. I'm talking about Bradley can be a much more of a veteran. He could come in, circle the ring when he when he's getting cut off, pull a Sergio Bradley Martinez. Bradley with with um, Provodnikov. He was brought him a he didn't even box from Monica from long range. True, true, true. But we know he. But we know that's the. Listen, but we know that was the worst game plan. I don't want to sound belligerent. He's not out boxing. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's not happening. He has to but, get but, inside. But can we not? Can we not agree to disagree that this man was pretty much a mental patient at that point? Can we not? Can we agree to disagree on that or what? I don't know about it. I I I just maybe you can see him. He's not boxing him from long range. I, I heard somebody said Bradley was their favorite fighter. 
defend Bradley in this Provodnikov fight. Whoever said, I think that was Jay Dill, right? Jay Dill. Yeah, go ahead, Jay Dill. Defend it. Defend Bradley Provodnikov. What what was the what was the matter with Tim Bradley that night? Because it's an easy story. He lost his fight, man. His his head was up too high. His chin was up too high. So he was always going to get countered with an uh, overhand right or a uh, high a uh, left hook. It, he can he can get sucking for low to, for a high shot. Um, number two, Bradley tried to you know exchange with the guy. And try to go for the kills too much, and that's when you get caught again. Provide a call for time and with a left hook again, and Bradley backs up, and Bradley fights off an instinct, and he lo- he looks back worse than where he should be looking. So two, you know, that's, that's two good points. The that's two good points, and his second one relates to what I said. This dude has something to prove. At this point, he don't care. Like he he kind of learned from the boxer. He said they what he say after that. They can say what they want to say. I've been there with so and so. Now he now he's more cool about hey, you can't troll me no more like that Pacquiao shit. I feel like I'm proving. Like dude head was gone. He was in there trying to prove something with that. Bradley boy, man. ends up he, he <laughs> brawled with Chavez. He brawled with Provodnikov. He brawls with all these fighters who, who are not more around. He, 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 who, who, who are not as big or as accurate as Triple G. He's not maybe big, four rounds. Maybe four rounds. Triple G. Maybe range. four round, maybe four rounds oh, he brawled man. with. Maybe four rounds he brawled with uh with the guy. What you just say, Chavez? Maybe four rounds. He outboxed him the rest of the match. What you you mean, know, Ch- like, Ch- Chavez was winning the late stages of that fight. Yeah, I said maybe four rounds. The end of four, I ain't gonna say he was just winning the fight. No, the, the later stages they were fighting it out in in the in the uh, last four. But most of the, pre- predominantly the most predominant parts of the fights you see Bradley outboxing him over and over and over again. I didn't see that. Shit, I did. He was. Uh, it was closer than what I, that fight was close to me, but I was mighty close. No, I don't right. think you like. You sound like you don't like Bradley, man. Why is that? I thought the fight was close. <laughs> man, no, 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 it's got nothing to do with like Bradley. Why, I mean, why, I, I, why I, I, making, I understand wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're making a mistake out of me hating Bradley by saying he can't fight Triple G at range. This is so crazy. No, let me let me let me help you. Let me let me let me break your point. I'm not saying Tim Bradley is the favorite to Triple G. I'm not saying it. I'm, I'm giving I'm, him a I'm chance. I'm not even determining who's gonna win. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not debating who's gonna win. I, I haven't said nothing about that. I'm but just I'm just to, down to watch the fight. Okay. Stand, are you are you down standpoint. to watch the fight? Are you down to watch the fight? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I said. Uh, yeah, I said. Yeah, let him fight him. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying, from a technical standpoint, he can't box him from range. He has to get inside. That's all he has to get inside. I, I like to see. I like to see. You hey, give him the. So how does Floyd Mayweather beat te- hey, this, uh, this Triple one. G? Nah, nah, nah. Let's talk about Bradley. On that performance, does Bradley get a fight with Mayweather? Yeah, I think he does. I think he deserves a fight with Mayweather. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go right on a limb and say right now. Mayweather and Bradley should happen. I think if you're talking about in the switch takes, I'm going for Bradley as the number one contender for for a Mayweather fight. I want to see that fight. Hey, I think Bradley's done enough to earn a shot. What's your guys' take on that? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. More than anybody else. More than anybody else. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah Resume wise, he got it. He yeah. beat Pacquiao. He beat Marquez. Yeah, he got a better claim than anybody else. No, no, no one say it can't happen because it may uh, I mean, the only person I put over him is Kell Brook because the title he hold. Like that's resume, the only reason. His resume caught cut to Bradley's resume. Yeah, but but that title means something. If Floyd want to be an undisputed champion, man, that title that's the only reason I put it there. And yeah, Floyd, Floyd has a chance. All his bills, though. And he keeps saying it, but when is it going to happen, though? Like he <laughs> he keeps saying it. Nah, man. I, I got I got um. What you need is looking to jump in right now. He he's looking to pay like he's about to pay a two hundred thousand dollar, two hundred three hundred thousand dollar sanctioning fee to WBO. He keeps saying he's giving them up, but they telling him that he got like what? I think he got like a week to pay a sanctioning fee. If he pay it, man, that man is full of shit on that promise, man. Talking. I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, man. I, I'm just gonna. I think Tim Brady's a bit overrated. So if that's what you're thinking, I do think he's a bit. I think Pacquiao beat him. I thought the Vargas fight was close. Pacquiao beat him soundly the second time. You know he got dinged up yesterday in a fight that uh, against a guy with nine knockouts. I think Tim's a little over. I, I, I do. I do. I do. I think. Yo, he's big, got yo, the resume though. I think he deserves it. Yeah. In, in terms of um, yeah. who's out there, yeah, he could get the Mayweather fight. But Tim is yeah. a bit overrated. He is a bit overrated. 
He is, he is what he is. Like you can't compare him to too many other fights. He is what he is. But to be honest, I think a lot of welterweights are overrated in that division. So, true. There's a lot of parody there. Ain't nobody proves shit. So, I, I mean, who who's who's more proven? I mean, what Pacquiao? Pacquiao, my opinion, Pacquiao beat him convincingly twice in two fights, in my opinion. I think Pacquiao lost the first fight in a close fight. Nah, no, I, I don't say anyone saw it. He didn't lose that fight. No I'll, I'll, I'll name the rounds that, um, that I felt Bradley won. And I'll name the rounds that Pacquiao won. Rounds one and two, I gave to Bradley. Round three, four, five, I gave to Pacquiao. Round six, uh, Bradley. Round seven, Bradley. Round eight, that's a toss up. Round nine, Pacquiao, round 10, Bradley, round 11, it was close, but Pacquiao didn't do enough. And round 12, I gave it to Bradley. So, Bradley won the fight. Hey, hey what, do you need, what do you need, man? What's your take on what we're talking about, bro? It's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, I thought that uh, Tim Bradley, I, I'm not too sure if, you know, people were saying he comprehensively won 11 rounds against Jesse Vargas. I didn't see that. I saw Vargas snapping a hard jab, man. That jab was. Vicious man, yeah, but um, I had just seven five Bradley seven five. I, I I can't I can't tell you because some of them wrote, those rounds were really close. But I had um I definitely had Vargas winning round four. Bradley yeah. won five yeah. and six. Yeah. Vargas won round seven and twelve. But in between, I I, I was kind of Vargas kind of faded, but he still was in there because every time Bradley traded with him, he would actually hit Bradley, and Bradley would hit him. So it was kind of interesting. I mean uh. I couldn't really keep track of all the punches. Yeah. yeah. But um, in terms of Bradley versus Floyd, that would be a good fight, man. Bradley got the resume. Uh, you think Bradley, uh, the AAM Skate Traflon is in the chat right now. He feels uh, William Monroe. William Monroe deserves a, a shot at Floyd, man. <laughs> What's your guys take? He's in the chat, man. What's your guy? You guys address that right there. Uh, <laughs> you think about right? William Monroe? Wait, I'm, I'm William Monroe. Let me, let me, I'm sorry. Willie Nelson, sorry, Willie Nelson, he thinks Willie, sorry, my bad, my bad, um, CCA Traffron, Willie Nelson deserves a shot. Oh, um, Willie Nelson, oh. Uh, I want hit too. I want 154, he's saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Hmm, mm, interesting. Mm. I don't know about deserves a shot, but that would be an interesting fight. I want 154, Willie Nelson, uh, 154. Uh, I mean, he still get beat, but I mean, it would still be interesting because Willie Nelson, he fought pretty good against Matarosian. Right? Hey, the, ch the chat's popping off today, man. Hey, man, thanks, you guys, man. Finally, everyone's viewing in. Finally, we get some conversation in the chat, man. So you guys have a dip in the chat and you guys try the comments, man. Hey, listen, um, so would we all agree that Bradley should be the number one contender for Freud right now? And the fight can happen. Only in no way say it can't. If Pacquiao had could happen and the net goes up together, definitely... Bradley and uh, Freud can come together. Don't want to hear no bullshit saying nothing can happen. But, but, but how about Sean Porter, though? Sean Porter, he beat but, Adrian yeah. Broner. That don't get... Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. Not the performance. The performance, man. The performance, man. But you know what? Bradley's... You, Bradley's do you get, find uh, that Bradley got rocked more than uh, 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 Sean? What better resume? Bradley's got yeah. a better resume. True, 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 true. Better resume. That's true. Okay. And, and, and look, the vulnerability... Bradley can be hurt. You've seen him hurt against Vargas, so if you're looking at Floyd, man, Vargas, Vargas hit him with that clean overhand, right? And you know he was, he, I was looking at it, and I was saying, boy, that might happen, you know, because Vargas setting him up for that overhand, right? You know, I, I saw it, you know, I saw it, man. I saw it going to happen. Uh, Ishmael Hardin, man, you, you know, he's saying like, why don't you let Floyd shadow, shadow box for twelve rounds with an opponent that he proposed for in his last fight? I mean, I don't know what to say about that, um, Ishmael. I can't. <laughs> I can't even. I don't know what to say about that, bro. I don't know what to say. Playing with shadow box, but I think, in my opinion, I think, um, bro, I think Bradley should be the number one dude right now, man. Bradley, one number one dude. So, um, what you need? Anything else? You, I see, man. You've been busy this week, man. You, I see. You see the game up, Ramirez fight. You, I know you've been seeing all the fights. Yeah, yeah. What's I saw Ramirez, man. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, you, you need to turn the volume up on your videos, though. Some of them are a bit too low, though. But that last okay. one, yeah. But go ahead, Gilbert Maria's, and he's. I think he should go against Callum Smith. But tell us about Gilbert Maria's versus Derek Edwards. 
I didn't see the Callum Smith fight. I, I only got the results. But um, man, it was a beat down. It was a good beat down. But he did he did kind of wear out in the later rounds to me. He weared out and uh, he slowed down a bit. Wasn't throwing as much punches. But Derek Edwards, he never really took advantage of it because he almost got knocked out in round, I think it was five. He almost got knocked out. The, the, the round ended before he could really get teed up. But that boy, tough. Derek Edwards, he's a tough bastard, man. Darrell couldn't get him out of there. The only guy, I think, I don't think it was only Matt Koroboff that got him out of there, right? Mm-hmm. No, he, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's he a tough boy, man. He's a tough boy. Yeah, anyway, boy. All right, cool, man. You know what? There's loads of fights on the weekend, but there's not. No. Can, can I just jump in and say something, though? Go ahead, go ahead, my friend. Go ahead. Why is it in between fights? And I don't care if I look like I defend Floyd. I'm just going to say what I have to say. And fuck if no one likes it. Why is it in between Floyd's fights? Everyone just starts slating the guy. He's not doing this. He, he hasn't even announced nothing yet. Why do people get so excited? He hasn't made a mean. Like, for some reason, they think that he's going to try and, I don't know. Blows some building up or something, right? <laughs> let, let the guy announce the fight and then crit- critique it. At least let him do that. True, 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 true. You call him a cherry picker before he's even announced what he's doing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Floyd ain't no cherry picker, man. Floyd ain't no cherry picker. And even the cherries don't bite back. You could pick a guy and an opponent, he could upset you, man. There's nothing, no, there's, there's nothing certain in boxing. You know, you can even you put money on it. When Mike Tyson, when it gets busted up, there's, there's no guarantees in boxing. Cherry picking. If you're picking cherry, cherries don't bite back, bro. There's <laughs> no guarantee. Uh, hey, I, I'm gonna say, uh, I wanna, I wanna give what you need uh, a little, a little bump on the back. He uh, mentioned Carbive. I would like to see Carbive versus Ramirez in top rank and make it happen. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah, cause Carbive are aggressive. What do you need to excited about that? <laughs> Southpaw, Southpaw versus Southpaw. I'm just saying, you know, I, you know, I'm just saying. I'm watching the matchup. It would be interesting. We would see how he would compare to Andy Lee. You know what I mean? So, be interesting. Hey, what you mean, man? You're the hard week, boy. You and Andrew Cena been going backwards and forwards, well, more or less. <laughs> the whole week, man. You're I like, didn't, I didn't know he actually had a channel. So I found out about that this week. So, yeah, you yeah. know. Hey, hey, beats. Yeah, uh, Ishmael Harden says fair enough. He so. You know what I'm saying? He, he kind of says, fair enough, then he's right. So he, he probably think he knows he went a bit he went a bit too hard on Floyd. But yeah, what, what you need, man, boy, like, you know, like, obviously me and Beaks, was, we were talking about what we were talking about, but that stuff spread it out on the thing. But you didn't make no video replies to Andrew Senior or anything, bro. You just let it ride, right? Yeah, I just let it ride because I told him um, I would make a, a second video. He wanted to uh, talk about it in a hangout, but I said, well, I'm, I'm doing the series already and people are going to see my video, so... Why not just do round two? Keep on going. It's, it's obviously it's twelve rounds, right? So yeah. round two will come up, and I'm actually prepping for it. But I, I have so many other things I do. Yeah. Besides, so. All right, let, me, all right, let me let me let me go in a bit here. So on on the video, so you you, you compare athletics and the evolution from athletes like Ben Jesse Owens and uh, Usain Bolt in, in in comparison with boxing. But okay, in 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 terms of you know um, evolution. So in evolution, did you see Klitschko's fight versus um versus uh, what's his name again? Samuel what? Peters. No, yeah. no. What's the Russian guy's name? Look, Povetkin. No, oh, yeah, Povetkin. Okay, in that fight, yeah, right. If it is evolution, then why was he using styles what you could say was being used at the turn of the century? I leaning on his back and holding him and stuff, like. Right? I mean, if it's evolution, why was like he he he, he adopted them styles if, if he's so advanced and I'm using Klitschko for example, because well, well, I can easily answer that, man. Evolution don't mean that everything completely changes. You take what is useful from p- periods before. You gotta understand, we have we're what 200 years of boxing, so you will use uh, rudiments. It's like it's like with sprinting, right? There's some things that you use that from from the beginning of time in sprinting, but that don't mean we run on grass tracks. You know what I'm saying? So evolution means change. Never evolution doesn't always mean change for the better. It's change, but nonetheless, some things are kept and some things are, are dropped. Right? Look, man. Let, look, look, look. I don't, don't want to be thing. Let, let me finish my point before you jump in. If you got, let me finish. Yeah. Right. Your theory is flawed as f u c k, and I'm going to tell you why it's flawed. Right? <laughs> I'm going to tell you why it's flawed. Right? If you take athletics, right? Athletics and 
I'm generalizing, right? Most athletes, including Usain Bolt, right? As soon as Usain starts getting some wear and tear and you see him run 10 seconds, he's never going to run 9.66 again. They normally have a four-year window. George Foreman became world champion in the 70s and the 90s. There's no Olympic sprinter who's going to win an Olympic gold medal, 100 meters, in 1960 is going to win an Olympic gold medal in 1980. It's not going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Boxing is a sport where you can adjust your body to box when you're older. You can't do that with sprinting. Once your physicality is gone, it's gone. You can't compare the two. You can't. Well, actually, there are professors that run under 10 seconds up to this day, even Carl Lewis. It's just they can't do it consistently. And to your point, George Foreman did win, and to his credit, the uh, uh, the heavyweight championship many years after the fact, but we all know Michael Moore disregarded Telly Atlas instructions, and that's why he lost the fight. It's more Michael Moore lost the fight than George Foreman won, but credits to George Foreman. Look, look you're saying circumstances. I'm just saying, though, so, okay. But you're saying nonetheless, so. nonetheless, nonetheless, my point being anyway okay. that never say never in sports because um, this dude, uh, a real old dude from uh, England, the UK, your boy. He won uh, the 100-meter dash at a very elevated age of 30-something years old, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but that, the thing is, ah, that, yeah, no, so but guys, he had, but he had a prime. Do it Yo, no, you're talking about Linford Christie. He had a prime. Linford Christie had a prime. Linf Linford Christie, that's the name. Right, yeah, he had, yeah, because he hit a prime. He hit a prime. But once it was gone, it was never coming back. Well, right? he, and, and, what and, he was, and he was caught taking shit. I would so. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, true, true point. But what I'm saying, though, is you saying he had a prime. Linford Krisky ran all the way back in the days of the 80s. Linford Krisky was there, um, not a, yeah, around Carl Lewis time. I think that's the 90s, actually, the 90s, right? I so Linford Athens hit the prime. I'm talking but Linford, one Linford prime Christy, to another prime. To, to wait, another, hold, to, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just make my point. Okay. Linford Christie been around forever when he come to talk about crash, track and field. So when he won the, 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 the Olympics, he won it in the late or the latter years of his career, just like George Foreman. So I, like I said, never, I would say never say never. Now, of course, to your point, track and field is a different sport with a different, um, um, uh, what's it, duration of time to which an athlete has, a window of time, right? So like in boxing, to make your point, to make your point solid, Bernard Hopkins, Right, dude is Floyd Mayweather, here. 16 years, world champion. There's no, yeah, there's no yeah, sprinters, yeah, yeah. there's no sprinters who can compete for 16 years. No, no way. no way, no way to say. Can't do so it. I make, I make your point for you in the sense that you can't say that identically, boxing in terms of time is the same as track and field. So I make your point for you, but I would say when we are looking, we're not looking literally in terms of duration of time. I am talking about it in terms of the sport and evolution. Like as like I say, now let, let me let me make my point with Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the in fact the best ever. Okay, until Floyd Mayweather retires and we see what he really does with his career, I still consider Sugar Ray Robinson the best ever, right? Even though I'm making my argument for Floyd being the best ever, it's an argument. You, you dig what I'm saying? So sometimes I say a lot of things, but it doesn't mean in my heart of hearts I believe what I'm saying. I'm just making an argument. You know what and, I'm saying? And look, yeah. your, your, your Linford Christie thing, even that don't hold up, right? Because that's an anomaly. You can't, uh, I keep telling people. Well, we can say for him an anomaly, you man. Use, you can't <laughs> use exceptions to prove a rule, right? But he, you, you, there's very few guys who managed to, to, to actually get to Linford's um, level of sprinting at that age. Boxers, we've got numerous, numerous examples of guys who can continue for years and have won titles late, right? Because it's, I, it's too, I, like the muscle groups that work in boxing is two different things. You have to use far more of your brain to your, man. No, hold on, 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 to box than you do to do a lot of athletics. It's just re you run, you train and you run, and it's just a repetitive um, muscle memory exercise. Boxing is a different thing. You've got to be thinking all the time. You know what I mean? Like you, like you can you you can slow the pace down in boxing. You can't do that if you're if you're sprinting. First, maybe in middle distance running you can slow it down, but sprinting you can't slow it down. If you're jumping over a high jump bar, you've just got to go all the way out. Boxing's two different things. 
Well, but, but, you, but, but, but you have to follow. Comeback sports to athletics. I don't know how that works. But you got to follow the argument. You see, you are you're talking in a vacuum. I'm talking in 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 an argument. So if you don't follow the trend or the argument, then it doesn't make sense. You can you can actually say whatever you want to say. The argument was that as with all sports, this sport evolves. That was the point. And boxing has evolved. And if anybody says boxing has not evolved, then they're denying that life doesn't evolve either. Right. Yeah, boxing, a, I, I heard, I heard the argument. Evolved, right? Yeah, we all I heard agree with that. No, I defend you on that. I heard people yeah. arguing against you saying boxing hasn't evolved. The most dumbest argument ever. That's the dumbest Ridiculous argument. Ridiculous argument. That's all I'm saying. So <coughs> I'm saying it is. But I'm saying we are wondering if it evolved for the better or for the worse. Because some people are saying boxing is dead and stuff. I, I can't see that. But, you know, I see boxing always happen to go in cycles. In cycles, you know. And, and extra things have been added to the sport. And some things have been uh, 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 lost. You see, but I, I see one thing though. One thing though, what you did there, I, I don't like. I don't like um, people qualifying it. Uh, give me specifics of what you you've seen have improved. Give me, but don't don't give me vague. Give me specific of what you've seen. Okay, so you're talking about specific like boxers or, or you no, talking you, about yeah yeah. You can't just tell me it's or... improved. You gotta give me give, give me some things you've seen that have improved. Whether well, it's, I was whether actually, it's training procedures right? or techniques or whatever. Right, right. Roger Mayweather. I was looking at an interview that Mrs. Boxing Baby had with Roger Mayweather. And Roger Mayweather, you know, people always laugh at him and what he says, but Roger Mayweather say a lot of loaded stuff. Oh, even, even, um, um, what's this guy's name? Um, um, oh, snap. I forgot his name. He was commenting over the weekend on Top Rank. Um, what, what, Bill Sheridan? No, the Hall of Famer dude. Are you talking, um, you talking about, um, the, the, the boxer, yeah? Yeah, oh, uh, I forgot his name. Um, yeah, the Mexican boxer. What's his name again? Ba um, Mancini, Mancini, Mancini. Not oh. not Mexican, Italian. Mancini. Okay. Now, good. now Mancini. We, we sometimes you don't respect what Mancini's saying. Uh, sometimes I don't I don't respect what Mancini's saying. But he said some 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 really good things over the weekend, and both of them said basically the same. If, you know, I started to listen to guys who actually box because. I don't know shit about boxing until I box. You get what I'm saying? That's why I respect people who actually have box in the at the elite level. I listen to them. You know, I have respect for you guys because you guys brought a lot. You showed me a lot about boxing, both in the past and in the in the present. So I respect you guys too, because you are serious about boxing. But what I'm talking about is the people who actually have box, and that's why I say I don't know shit about boxing either, because. I, I'm actually training myself to actually go into a competition and box because I realize how much boxing is not what it is. Now, anyway, Roger Mayweather and Bam Bam Rancini said the same things. They said you don't learn to box by being necessarily taught how to box. It's kind of weird because I heard Uma Fine Camp say the same thing. He said some people are kind of born with that precondition to do certain things. And then they are kind of mentored by a trainer who has been mentored by other trainers or a boxer and so on. And then on top of that, they also, by sparring greats and by fighting other people and so on, they actually get more. They add to the, what they, they know. You understand what I'm saying? So I use that, right? I don't want to talk about any specific boxer, but I wanted to quote Roger Mayweather where he said, he said a specific thing. He said, boxing is a doing sport. He said, you, you, you learn by doing. You learn, you learn. He said, you, 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 could, you could do pad work. You could do this really well. You may even be a great, you know, great defense, but it's really, it really, you really learn stuff. You really learn somebody or you learn your opponent by actually fighting. You're filibustering right. though, because you, you haven't given me one example. You don't said all that. Not one. Not one. But that's my my example is from. You remember we talking about? I I'm not giving you the example you want to hear, but I'm giving you the example that I'm using Roger Mayweather, a boxer and a great trainer, who said boxing is a doing sport. I'm trying to give you all a, a little understanding into the mind of these people so you understand. He said, no, no, no. Oh, no, forget Roger, though. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, no, wait, no, wait, 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 I'm, wait, I'm wait, wait. What, I'm, No, no, I'm just saying, saying you said something and 
I haven't heard you follow up. You said that boxing has evolved and you haven't given me an example how. You're just telling me that boxing isn't a thing you learn necessarily by fighting and that that this is vague. If you all right, if you're gonna say what well, beats, I can't answer it right now, let me know and then we can move on. No, 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 no. no. I am answering you, but it's kinda of hard for you to piece out what I'm saying. So I'm continuing. Yeah, it is, it is. But, it well, is. Hear me, but you're not hear me, that's me, not hear a direct me. answer. All right, let me finish you. Let me finish it. So Roger went on to say this, which was what was a revelation to me, from to Miss Boxing Baby and to the other people. He said, Muhammad Ali, right? He wasn't, he didn't have necessarily a lot of trainers that trained him in boxing, but he was watching Sugar Ray Robinson. And you've seen pictures with Ali and Robinson and all of that. He was watching Sugar Ray Robinson. And Ali took from Robinson, you see what I'm saying? If you watch, if you watch Ali carefully, you see Robinson. But Ali also uses that feint where he actually, he uses a lot of upper body movement, which he added to Rod Robinson's style where he would faint backwards and faint forwards to be able to get out of the way. He would sort of pull to the side. You see Floyd Mayweather borrowing that from Ali. You also right. saw Floyd Mayweather borrow from Ali the pull counter. Ali's the guy who kind of add that little pull counter to his style of boxing, which Ray Robinson didn't use. He used the lead right counter or he would lead right, right? Uh, for instance, um, this is this is stuff borrowed from the past. Like you talked about Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. shortened up that double left hook. He shortened up the the hook so it was a little bit more effective. And he used what we call a leaping left left hook, but he used it in reaction to his opponent at an angle, like Ali, who how he would slip a punch at an angle and come in on you at an angle. Now he took what Ali had, he took what Ray Robinson had, he added to his arsenal with his own style. You get what I'm saying? So by studying the, the greats of the past and also by being taught from trainers from those guys, generations and generations of trainers from those guys, these guys took what the guys did, made part of it their own, as well as they incorporated their own style on top of it. You get what I'm saying? Right. There's that's, a new guy. Now, that's an answer. That's an answer. Now, I applaud that. Right. That's no, what but, but, I wanted. Just for the, listen, I did. But, 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 the reason, no, no. The reason I asked you that, it wasn't to provoke you. I wanted you to, like, the, your detractors, people detracting you. I wanted you to, you know, show them what you meant. And you did that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But, <laughs> but, 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 but I was trying to show a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. You don't need no more. No more. No more. I like okay. that. No, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, let's move on. Oh, man. That's not I wanted to say, I wanted to say two more things. Please, please, EJ, just two more. Two more little things. No, 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 I'm done, I'm done, it's done. Oh, man. It's done, it's done, it's done. If anything here, do you see the video? I'll do it in my video then. I'll do it in my video. Right, right. Do you see the videos I sent you, though? I sent you on Sugar Ray Robinson. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually... I actually, one of the videos though, one of the guys, they were actually for that middleweight though. It wasn't at all. Well, wait, Bobby Dykes is at well with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah he, Bobby he, Dykes. Ray Robinson came in. At, he came in at a middleweight, but he was still the weight weight champion. And like, yeah, yeah. He went to, he went to, uh, good, good footage though. Good footage, man. I, I, I need to look at your channel more, man. I need to look at it. Cause I had to go fish all around on on, on internet and YouTube and thing looking for these videos. You know what I mean? And and, and again, don't get me wrong. Ray Robinson is going to be the best ever until uh, Mayweather's career is over. As far as I'm concerned, it's premature to give a guy a title while he's still active, as you don't know what could happen. Boxing, that's the next thing people don't understand. Boxing is a fight-by-fight -fight sport, you know what I mean? It's not something where you could uh, think so far down the future past your next fight. You don't know what will happen in your next fight. So you can't be like, oh, this is where, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, careers have to actually finish and pan out, so you can yeah, wait. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, 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 because we was talking about me and Umar was talking about um, Lennox Lewis' career, and I, I put some calls in it. I was like, Lennox Lewis lost to Hassan Ratman and lost to Oliver McCall. That How? was his fault, though. Lewis, that was no, Lewis no, fault. The point, no, no. The point is, no, no. The point is, is how great is he? And we was because he was trying. We we, we we was arguing, is he better? Me and Umar was arguing because Umar loves Lennox Lewis. Is he better than? Um, Sonny Lister, is he better than some of the great? We was arguing. Is he better than all of them? Who might have him better than everyone? Is he better than who? Sonny Lister, and is he well, better? No, 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 the debate was, was he the great? Who said he was the greatest? Yeah, who said he was the greatest? Better than everyone, I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But this is the, like you are you a good point. When Floyd's career's over and you know a couple ten maybe five years after we might look on it because people rate Nassim Hamid high, but to me Barrera beat him, so you know Barrera. How come Barrera's not in the Hall of Fame before Nassim Hamid, but Barrera's career carried on a few more years after him. He's definitely a Hall of Famer. It's Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales, but um, it's because they were fighting like. You know, I think you need to wait like five years or six years before you're inducted. So Barrero should be in the Hall of Fame. I'm surprised Hamid got in there before him, but never mind. They're saying they're the same age as well, but it doesn't matter. Um, moving on, uh, what else is there to cover? There's, you know what, yeah, to be honest with you, there's a lot of these little fights here that I don't, I'm not really interested in. And it's not like, say, not people know their names. So let's just go straight ahead and talk about Keith Thurman versus Louis Colazzo because, and that's not even next, next week, you know. That's like the week after, but I'm going to talk about that because next week, next week Saturday, um, yeah, yeah. there is no notable names. There's no notable names next Saturday, so let's go straight talk away that. How do you guys see Louis Colazzo versus Keith Berman? In fact, after you guys give your take, I'm going to try and give him a call. And also, Marisa Herrera versus Hank Lundy, so you guys chop on that. Um, Herrera and Lundy is a that, that, fight. United is jumping. Yeah, go on. Go ahead, Rich. Yeah, Herrera London is a is a good fight. I, I, to be honest, I can't. I'm not just gonna um, commit to an answer because like, you just threw that at me. So good. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm looking forward to seeing I'm a, it. I'm taking Herrera in that fight. Why? Because I think Herrera had a better perform. Um, like Lundy always do some shit like towards the end of the fight. He don't listen to his corner. Yeah. I just, I just, that's, I think Herrera is gonna outpoint him. Yeah, Lundy yeah, does so. He sabotages himself a lot, man. He does. <laughs> he sabotages himself a lot, man. He does, man. So what about Keith Furman versus Louis Colazzo? Oh, I got it. Um, Natty, put the mute on and what up, Natty? Natty! I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah, what up, yo? Yeah, yo. Yeah, go, yo. <laughs> Natty, what up, <wild laughs> <wild> brother? <laughs> day, 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 day. Hey, go ahead. go ahead, Chris. Finish your point, Chris. Go ahead. I said I got Keith Thurman winning. You got Keith Thurman beating Louis Colazzo? Yeah. All righty, man. Why did you see that? I just think Louis Colazzo's best days might be behind him. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, That's this, fight, this good fight is going to be that fight's going to be closer than what everyone thinks. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, boy, I'm it is. If it's the if it's Colazzo got anything left, he could make a competitive. But I don't think you got anything left. You blew it cool, man. Hey, Natty, give us your take on Bradley versus I mean, Wilder. Maybe the Louis. What happened? Right, no, no, go, hey, go, talk. no, 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 go ahead, Chai. Talk about what we're talking about. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, mate. Yeah, if, if Colazzo. Yeah, Louis Colazzo, man, if he can um, bring back the days of Andre, the Andre Berto fight. If that Colazzo shows up in the ring, it's gonna be a tough fight for Thurman. Other than that, he does he seemed a lot to lose form, man. Um, based on the last uh, fight I saw him with uh, Amir Khan, he just he, he doesn't have it anymore. It doesn't look like it to me anyway. Yeah, um, it's a Thurman win. It's definitely a Thurman win, but I think it, I I don't think it's gonna be as easy as everyone says it is. I don't think it will be. Easy, I don't know about that, but I just I just can't see him winning the fight. No, not even controversially. No, I don't see that. I don't see that. Not even no controversial decision or anything like that. If it's going to be so one-sided, should Thurman be fighting then? Right, but everybody booked up. Saddam Ali fighting Diego Chavez. Everybody got a. Everyone booked up. Thurman said he could. If everyone booked up, how can he he can't fight Errol Spence then? Because I mean, everyone's booked up. He can't fight Errol Spence. Yeah. Uh, or Sean Porter and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like I'm gonna give him a pass to after this fight. After this fight, um, he should be fighting somebody else, like uh, um, Brad on the Bradley, Tim Bradley, or Sean Porter level, at least. Yeah, I, I I would like to see, I would like to I've been wanting to see Sean Porter and uh, and um Keith Thurman matched up. Man, they ain't gonna fight each other, man. I One of them pr- will probably have been in the. 
I see them if in the they video, man. Fought already. One of them will probably have been in the the Floyd Mayweather sweepstakes already. Look, man. Look, look. look. They probably would have got the nod over over Maidana. This is what I don't like about this, these one of the and, and the supporters. I don't. I, certain things I don't like because they like saying, "Ah, oh, this this one fighter is 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 fearful. He's cherry picking. He doesn't do that." And then when I see these guys together, they're piled up. They're piled up. Well, I'm not going to take this fight because you're speaking condescending to me. I can't fight Sean. So what the fuck? So what? what? <laughs> why can't they fight each other? Why? Like why? Why can't we see either Porter versus Thurman or Thurman versus Spence or a combination of any of them three fights? Why not? If there is um battle ready, as they're saying, why can't we see them fights? No, I want to see. It, I want to see. It's got to be fair because it can't be promoters because like Heyman's promoting all the all the all these guys. Yeah. So yeah, I think hey, they will eventually hey, fight hey, though. E boxing news, man. Thanks for coming over, man. Like E boxing's got a question. Do you think uh, Furman called out people already knowing the fight won't happen, knowing people will give him a pass regardless? What's yep. your? Yep. Yes, I do. Yeah. 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 There you go, you boxed. Like when he called out Amir Khan, and when he saw Amir Khan, he didn't say anything to him. He's like, like, like he, I, mean, he did, I didn't hear none of that bravado. Why didn't he, like, if that's how you talk up fights, isn't it? You said you wanted to fight the guy. When Amir Khan was there, you know what I mean? He, he didn't have nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. He was it doesn't make sense. Him. That don't make sense. Mm, 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 mm. So, um... Ishmael, Ishmael Harden says, "Do you, um, I do want um, Errol Spence to fight more? He, so he don't think uh, Errol Spence should go straight in there with, um, with Furman. I want Furman to go straight in there. In the, I think if he wants to go in there, I think there's no reason to send him in there, man. I think you should send him in there with the big dogs, man. Yeah. I yeah. think, I, I think, I think you know, boxing is a man's sport. He's a man. He wants to fight these guys. Furman was a man when he was calling for May for saying burn money. So you know, this is what it is, man." Thanks for the question, guys. Keep them coming, man. Keep them coming. I'll address them as quick as I can. But, you know, box is a man's sport, man. Go in there. Go get your respect, man. All I see in the welterweight division is is these guys, when they can't get the Floyd fight, them and their fans are puffing up themselves. Yeah, go get the Floyd fight. And then they don't fight no one else. Yeah. That's all I see from them. No, I'm not going to fight that guy. The Floyd ain't fighting me. That's all I see. That's all I see. <laughs> like crybabies. Oh man, boy! And there's lucrative fights. You fight on Floyd's bill. That, that's a that's a lucrative fight. Five million against Kell Brook. Come on, man. Come on, man. These guys are joking. These guys are joking. Yeah. Hey, where's what you need in in T gone, man? Where they at? J Dill. They all bounce, man. Where you at, man? You want to let them burn so they bounce. <laughs> ah, they be. I think they be back in a bit, man. I think they gonna get something. What you need? Wanted to burn, bro. You wanted to burn. What you need? What, what you need? <laughs> Gonna come back. I just call, I called Louis Calazzo while he was talking, you know. But he says I got voice, man. I called Deontay Wilder. He didn't pick up either. So I guess we maybe we get them next time, next week or something like that. Um, they be probably they might come back into the conversation. But hey, man, look, man. It's, I think Bradley. Is, uh, Natty, what's your take on Bradley being the number one choice for Floyd um, candidate for Floyd? I think he's got enough resume. I think he's done enough. I think he deserves a shot right now. How you see that? I mean. I mean, I, I, I have no problem with Bradley fighting Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's not a big deal, man. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I, do I think he can win? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? But go for it, man. I know I know Bradley is willing and ready. You know what I mean? I don't see Bradley backing down from anything. Even even though he almost got knocked, knocked out by a very feather-fisted dude, yeah, he still right. wants to get in the ring with Triple G. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He yeah. still wants to get. He, he doesn't care. So yeah, well, I mean, I don't think he wants it now, though. I don't think he wants Bradley, it now, though. Bradley paid. <laughs> Bradley paid a lot of dudes. You know what I'm saying? He is, once he again, is, once again, he, fought, he has fought like one of the hardest schedules out there. Not not so much at welterweight, but just in uh, in general. You know what I'm saying? He's for one of the one of the toughest um yeah one of the, one of the toughest uh schedules out there. I mean, he deserves a fight, man. Let's go. Yeah. No big deal. He called out. Are, 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 are people like upset about it or something? I don't know. 
A call I know is he called uh, out a fight. Are uh, people you know, uh, finding their serious. places at this matchup? Say hey, that again, B. No, I'm just saying he called out a fight that he knew no one was going to take serious in Triple G. That's all he did. Yeah. Yeah. No one, no one's man. took him serious. No one's took him serious. No one's took that serious. No. Yeah, that's a, that's a good fight to me. If, if, man, tri Triple G should call him out. Triple G should say, yeah, all right. I mean, 160, let's do it. He should do. Fighters, fighters need their bluffs to be called. You know what I mean? You need to fight. You know what I mean? You want to yeah. say you're this, that? Call your bluff, man. It's, he's See, still but, saying it, man. He's still saying it, even after this fight. He's still saying he will fight Triple G. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to see it. So let's do I, it. I'd, I'd like to. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. He, he was saying after the fight. I bet. I, I bet you. I bet. I, I bet you Triple G would be more willing to fight him than Lara. I'd love to see that fight, man. Bradley versus Triple G. Yeah, fuck that shit. You're getting yum. Wait, I, I say straight now, I ain't, I ain't giving him a shot, bro. But you know what? If he won, I'll give him all the props, though. And uh, you know what? He, he's got he's got a Hall of Fame resume right now. Like, that guy, that guy's got a tough resume. Maybe Bradley knocked out Triple G. <laughs> Face Andre Ward in, in the in the amateurs, man. That's true. That is actually true. I'm saying, bro. You know, this, this is the truth, man. People talk about like um, Sean Porter, but bro, he's faced people. Brad, he's faced people, man. He's faced names, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, I think he oh, should be allowed to. It's a legit, legit tough dude, man. It, 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 um, it, um, Ishmael of Harlan said, "Love to see Lara fight, man. Love to see Lara fight um, for it probably." He thinks Lara should get shot for it, man. Yeah. Yeah, Lara's another one, man. People been asking Lara to fight for it for time, bro. I don't know, man. What you guys think? Um, uh, hard fight. Hard fight for, I don't know if it's a syllable fight. But I think Bradley's is definitely... You could do something with the Bradley fight, man. You could sell it. On, you could sell that Bradley fight, man, for real. I think you can get some, get, I think you can get some mileage out of that, man. Well, man, look, man, but people talk about Lara a lot and like how, you know, he's the duck man and he's a skill. Yeah, he's got skills, but I mean, he couldn't even, he, like, if you want if you want that fight, you've got to put put away guys like the last opponent, you know? Okay, uh, Rodriguez? You talking about? Yeah, you probably should have had to put him away, innit? Oh, no, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, if, if Floyd fought at 154, I'd like to see it, but, you know. Yeah, 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 um. Ishmael Harden said they should fight Golovkin. Floyd should fight Golovkin. I don't know why they won't come Floyd to fight Golovkin. I don't know where that shit coming from. I don't think, you know what I'm saying? This guy's like a middleweight, yeah? Floyd could fight that men win classes, but he don't need to. Like, he's the A side. He's not going to come out of his weight class to please Golovkin. Even Golovkin come down to 154, yeah. like, well, how much credit are you going to give Floyd? Oh, Floyd drained him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... You ain't gonna, look, look, look. Floyd could fight him. He could for like, like, I'm not going to... You say there, say can't happen because welterweight champions have fought middleweights. But the reason people want to see that fight is they want to see Floyd get knocked out. That's, yeah, that's exactly. The this is the thing, right? When De La Hoya started that super fervor and he went up to middleweight, he lost to Phoenix Stern, but he got the decision, right? He was he was struggling that middleweight life. So how's Floyd gonna fucking smaller than him? Floyd said he he can't even hold 154. That's why he goes back down to welterweight. So I don't see how Floyd could 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 sustain that's why you got this is what I'm saying like like when when Floyd's names comes up a lot of irrational arguments come up the but, guy barely makes a welterweight you know what I mean and like you just tell him to fight with middle fight at middleweights because like, yeah people didn't understand he didn't just come from welterweight like Sugar Ray Leonard he came from super featherweight man super featherweight but man. He, he could fight he look look I'm not look I in all truth if you're gonna talk from an historical standpoint of world yeah. weights and middleweights. He yeah. could fight him. He could do that. He could, he could do that. He, he could. I agree with you. He could. Does he need to? No. Will he? No. But I was saying I'd, I'd like Floyd to fight Cotto at middleweight, but Cotto doesn't even fight at middleweight. None of them fight at middleweight. So yeah, what the it, fuck it, is that, bro? <laughs> Boxing is fucking terrible. Hey, None of them are middleweights. They should just <laughs> fight at light middle. That's all they should do, Cotto. Koto and Floyd should fight a light middle. Hey, Ishmael, I think, I think Lara should fight Triple G. He's been calling out Triple G. And Triple yeah, G 
talking about. That's the fights right there. And in fact, Pac why not Pacquiao fight Triple G? Chat Pacquiao for 154. I'd love to see Pacquiao. Yeah. Why why Pacquiao? Pacquiao go against uh, Triple G at 154. <laughs> People why, don't match, but why don't we match Triple G with somebody his own size? That's what we should be doing, isn't it? Try, like, and if one of them smaller guys chooses to take him on, fair enough. But until then, we shouldn't be trying to match him with guys smaller than him constantly because that's things we're all, what, all what we do. You know? Yeah. Um, let's, get, let's get one of the 60 pounders, one, 160 pounders belt holders to take him on there. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he boxed the news, but more of a joke, uh, more of a joke question. But considering Furman likes to fight Khan previous opponents, <laughs> what are your odds of Furman versus our jury happening soon? It's funny. <laughs> it's funny, you know. What do you guys think about that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know what these guys' career path is because what all I'm seeing from welterweights, all the top, if they can't get the Floyd fights, they seem reluctant to fight each other. That's all I'm seeing. Yeah, no doubt, man. Exactly. Uh, Go ahead, Chris. Chris. Oh, is this me and you, beast? Oh, it's that's... me and you, bro. Everyone else, I'm at the hangout. I guess they've gone to somewhere more important than me, what me and Beach is talking about. Hey, we're going to have a... Hey, listen, bro. You know what? Uh, now he's back. I'm telling you, yeah. Next nah, week... man. I, I had to change devices, man. My tablet was acting stupid. That's all right. Guy. You know what I'm going to do? I swear down. I'm still going to have a hangout next week. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to... Because boxing is whack next week. I'm still going to continue. And uh, we're still going to talk because we can talk. Like, you know, there's always things to talk about. So, Natty, um, yeah, man. It's all... You know, you didn't really go into the Bradley and Marcus family. I know you made a video on it, but like, what's your take properly? No, I, I haven't made a video yet, but um, I I, I will. But anyway, I, I'll tell you what I think, man. Um, I think Bradley was winning the fight. Um, the first the first six rounds was pretty close. You know what I mean? Each fighter was winning their rounds, but not by much. I think I think Bradley kind of uh was winning the, the the rounds a little more decisively. Um, after the sixth round, um, I think I, I might have gave Vargas another round down the stretch, but uh, I think Bradley had the fight pretty much in hand until the very last round when he got caught, man. Now, as far as as far as the the the, the ref stopped uh, jumping in and stopping the fight and um, prematurely the 10 second mark and all of that good stuff, yeah, he came in premature and um. And, and kind of stopped Vargas's momentum, but after that first shot landed, the, the I think it was the right hand that landed. Vargas didn't follow up. You know what I'm saying? Vargas didn't land another clean shot after that. As a matter of fact, even though um, um, Tim Bradley looked shaky on his feet, uh, he was he was evading the the follow up shots that, that 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 Vargas was coming with, and he was able to tie up Vargas um along the ropes. You know what I'm saying? He ha he was holding on for dear life. If yeah. uh the if um uh, Pat Russell was the ref, if if he didn't come in and split him up, he probably would have held on to Vargas until the the bell rang. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that prevented Vargas from getting a knockout. You know what I mean? I I don't think he would have got a knockout. At all, so it, the 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 controversy is unwarranted. You know what I mean? Vargas is talking shit just because you know he he could talk shit the same way like um when um what's his name when 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 uh when Julio Cesar Chavez, you know what I'm saying? Junior landed that shot on on um on, on Sergio Martinez. He thought he could talk shit after the fight, even though he got his ass whooped for the whole fight. He's like, oh, I could have won, I could have won, rah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Look at your face, man. You know what I'm saying? How, how are you talking shit right now? I think it's kind of it's a similar circumstance. There was no way you was going to win that fight. It's just not happening. You know what I'm saying? It, it just wasn't going to happen. You caught him. He was hurt. I was kind of surprised he was hurt. But what does that say about Tim Bradley? Is his punch resistance, you know what I'm saying, kind of, you know, is, is something go, going wrong with his chin? Has he taken too much pun, punishment over the year? Yes. You know yeah. Listen. You got to be scared. Listen, man. After the Provodnikov fight, they rushed him into hospital with concussions. It took him an age to get himself right. 
what 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 one of his um functions on his head? What could he could he see or hear properly? He couldn't do. There was there was certain functions he couldn't do for a little while. You know, like listen, this this ain't it's not a joke sport. I think sometimes we get a bit um immune to what's actually happening. Yeah, because we're not the ones in the ring. We're not right. taking a punishment. This yeah. is our entertainment. Yeah. But look, look at this show. Look at this though. He's fighting the, one of the best resume. Like he's fighting back to back studs, man. He ain't fighting no layups, man. He ain't fighting no pancakes. So if you're nope. fighting back to back studs, you're gonna get clipped. And we 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 gonna question whether he's chin and, and that stuff. But if you're gonna fight the resume he's fighting, ain't you gonna get messed up? Yeah, of course you are. But if he was fighting an easier resume, then he wouldn't get so fucked up. But he's fighting a fucking tight schedule, man. Right. Well, that's exactly it. That's exactly not, what not, I'm saying. He's, he's fighting a tight schedule, but sometimes he's not fighting smart fights, though. No, he's, he, that's, he's, that's, yeah, that's he's right. making fights. Uh, he's making fights tougher than they're supposed to be, or than they have to be, mm -hmm. on his own self at times. You know what I mean? I mean, we, we we're gonna give credit to the opponents as well, but sometimes Timothy Bradley just fights stupid fights. You know what I'm saying? It just look, man, look, what look. it is. Talking it, about he's trying to please the fans. The truth is, yeah, Junior Witter is a hard hitter. Yeah, and he took him on a long time. Kendall Hall hits hard. The Nate Campbell yeah. fight didn't get warmed up. Ramon Peterson not a big banger, but troublesome. A Bregu hits hard. That right. sh that shot that Kendall Holt hit him with, I didn't thought think he was gonna get up. Right. Exactly. I didn't think he was gonna get up from that. That was surprising to me. The, look, the schedule is tough enough. It's the, the schedule is tough enough that you know, unless you're an exceptionally defensively blessed fighter, you're gonna take wear and tear away from it. There's just no way around it. Yeah, yeah. Ishmael says Bradley's got at least uh, two more years left in him, boy. So you know, this hope he gets the Mayweather fight. It, it was just concerning that 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 Jesse Vargas was able to hurt him like that. A guy who's known for a granite chin, who's taking shots from the best of them, who's taking hard shots from bangers. Well, you know what? Yeah, he has got Jesse Vargas. Go down that, you know. He didn't go down that, you know. He didn't go down, but he he, he you you can see the legs though. Well, Jay, Jay was saying about Joe Calzaghe has got a great chin. He went down and, you know, you know what I mean? Man, you know, no, I don't think, like... No, I, don't, I mean, it was it was more his his conditioning that kept him on his feet. Yeah. yeah. That's what it looked like to me. But you know what? Yeah, I don't think with Tim Bradley right now, I think with Tim Bradley, I think he's just all hot. I don't think they're going to sell, sell on Tim Bradley about his chin. I think he's, it's a combination, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you keep you keep pecking away at something. This, you, your, your chin is not gonna hold up forever. You know what nope. I'm saying? It's just nope. not. It's just not look, gonna do it. Look at Margarito. Look yeah. at Margarito. Yeah, Sugar Shane. Sugar Shane. Crack that cold, boy. Yeah, Sugar Shane. Sugar Shane got a chin, though, actually. You know? He's got actually a pretty good chin. He got a chin. He's got a pretty good chin, actually. You know, he took some shit off the Venom Forest, bro. <laughs> no, no, we're talking about Margarito's chin. We're talking about what sugar oh, chin. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, when they were saying about his chin. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he cracked that shit right there. Right, that right. shit. This shit could rock up, bro. <laughs> mash up like Jacob, Jacob's biscuit there, boy. He go mash up. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, man. If Bradley's going to carry on for a prolonged time, he's going to have to make some modifications to his game. Because yep. that, that, that's a light puncher, you know? He, he hasn't fought like... Provodnikov, he hasn't fought a Provodnikov again, and like I think Provodnikov could probably hurt him again. But beats, he has he has the assets. It's if he he wants to use it in the ring. It's up to him. Mm. Well, that's I've the seen thing. him use I've I've seen him use boxing skills before. I've seen him be evasive. I've seen him be defensive. You know what I'm saying? Effectively. See, this is what I was arguing with. What you need. See, when you say assets, you can say he's got the physical assets. Maybe no, I've seen him utilize them in the ring. Yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand that. Utilize them in the ring. I understand it's not, that. It's not something that you know. It, it's it's not like a theory or anything. You've seen it. You've seen it on display. No, but that's the thing with boxing. Like like I'm saying, you might have the you might have the legs, you might have the jab, but boxing is it, a thinking sport. It's not like athletics. That's what I was telling you. You gotta have the right mentality. And him having the assets, it's the mentality around. Like Floyd doesn't take the chances a lot of Floyd. By his tape, neither does Hopkins, you know. 
they so don't. A glitch go. It's mentality. It's not just um, having the physical gifts to do something. You gotta be a, a thinking guy inside that ring, man. You know. But that 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 knockdown in the Kendall Ho fight made him alter his game quick, didn't it? Well, in that particular fight, it did. It, it, it did, didn't it? Mm. I think I, I I think um the the same thing in the um the Lamar Peterson fight made him box. And he outboxed Peterson in that fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and he, man. He he out he outboxed um um Ruslan for for long spurts. Look, until, man, he's coming to the stage. He, the he outboxed coming. Marquez, so he can do it. Yeah, but he's, he's gonna be strong. He's, he's, he's coming to the stage where the matchmaking for him is crucial. You know what I mean? Like people don't appreciate how how important matchmaking is. See, people they go back to old school, man. Like, if, if, they, if a lot of these fighters didn't have good matchmakers, they'd be in, in coffins, man. They're fucking yeah. crippled. People don't realize that. I think Bradley, I think they were trying to sell Bradley out down the river, and I think HBO have done, done a terrible job of trying to sell it on, yeah, we don't know what happened to him, because it's already showed that Bradley grabbed onto him. It didn't matter what Pat Russell did. I think Vargas got completely embarrassed, and I think HBO next yeah. time saved his, saved his leg. They saved it, and and the bullshit Vargas was saying, he makes him look like an idiot. Vargas looked like, he don't look like a well, he don't look like a world class guy. And I tell you what, stay at one forty seven, my friend. Let Keith Furman come and come get you. I mean, Khan will do you, bro. I mean, Khan can do you. You know what I'm saying? Like I got all them guys there eating Vargas, bro. Everyone, Povotnikov. You know, I got Povotnikov beating them, bro. Like even Herrera. What about that? Man? Come on, man. Vargas ain't that. I've been watching. I've been watching Vargas since he was with uh, in on the in the Floyd Mayweather gym, man. When Roger was training him, he has never really improved. I've never seen any glimpse of like, man, this kid is gonna be great. No. Nothing. Ah. Yeah, show me shit. Ah. Like what? But but a bunch of controversial decisions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah for real. I mean, he he can, okay, he has boxing fundamentals. He can box. He knows how to throw punches. He knows how to he knows he knows boxing basics. But there's nothing special about him. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, boy. Anything else, guys? Anything else? We um, I, I didn't catch the Bundu fight, man. How how did that play out? Ain't no one seen that fight, bro. <laughs> Seriously? They didn't televise it, man. They had three fights on the show on the show box and Bundu wasn't one of them. Because the guy he was going against was was the way. It's a shame, man. But you know oh, that's why I couldn't catch the fight. Pissed me off though as well, Carl. Like, you know, every, like, I got my interview with Bundu and you know it'd have been nice. Oh, to I saw the Solomon fight. Who did who did they show with Solomon? I caught the Solomon fight. Yeah, so Sol who else was Yeah, Solomon fight was against um it was against the Dominic Wade man, and a lot of people feel yeah, like man. Wade won. A lot of people feel like um, Sam Solomon won. Like I, I don't think so. I mean, I had him winning by one point. Really? But that's not like you know. Ooh, 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 Solomon, you had Solomon winning by one point. You had Solomon winning by one point. Oh man, come on, man. Everyone, and that's the thing everyone was saying. But he knocked him down. It wasn't a knockdown. I agree. But I just feel like Wade done enough. The fight was just. I, I think they were giving him it, some. It was an ugly fight. Yeah, it was. Um. Man. It was an ugly fight. Wade, Wade, another thing. Wade, he should have used his jab more. Mm. He definitely should have used his jab more. He started out off using it, but then he kind of got away from it. And he kind of let Sam Solomon get on the inside a little too easy. And then when he, when Solomon would get on the inside, he would do that sneaky shit. You know what I'm saying? He would hold on. Like and right before the ref comes to pull him apart, he pull, he 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 separates himself and then lands some shots on the inside, uppercuts or overhand right. Shh. I get out of here. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Or he would he would do this thing where he 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 ducked it, he ducks his head and and lands that up jab. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And comes over and comes over the top and he was just getting hit a little too cleanly by Solomon and I don't know, man. I think I think he he could have he could have performed a little bit better and not make it so close. To yeah. be honest with you, um, but I, I had Sam Solomon winning 
uh, winning six rounds to six rounds to four in the knockdown. So that that he won by one point on my card, but I could see it going the other way. Now is that that lopsided scorecard that first judge had? That's that's the problem I had with the, with the fight. Hey, that you, lopsided you, scorecard was crazy. There's hey. no way um the dude weighed one by so so wide a margin. No but, way. But man, when you talk about lopsided scorecard, then Kenny Bailey scored the score with Bradley Vargas 115-112. There was no way that's the three point, uh, three point fight. There's no way like Bradley dominated the whole damn damn yeah, job. Man, that's that bullshit right there, man. Like. And, and and now from as well, do you see the Gil Maria's fight? Gil, the, you know they're talking about this guy looking to fight um James the girl and these dudes. You see that fight there? He beat the guy who Buddy knocked out. Um, Buddy Jack. There, Edwards. Oh no, nah, man! I didn't see the Gilbert Ramirez fight, but I, I've, I've been kind of high on him. I mean, on a prospect level, I don't. I'm not sure if he's a contender just yet. He, he, he looks like he still has a little hole, holes, a few holes in his game. But um, from what I've seen of him, he's, he's a good fighter, man. And you know, if they develop him the correct way, he could be something. So, I, how did his fight play out? Yeah, you know, he won the fight come to be a nice decision. I go, I would like to see Gil Maria's um Maria um, Ramirez versus um Callum Smith. That's what I'd like to see right there. Or I like Callum Smith versus Yeah, you can see that man. Not for now. Right, man, he can fight Gil Maria. Yeah, I was saying that on the other chat, man. Put him in there with him. Which other chat? That we had on Friday. Man, they they ain't risking I mean whoever's managing Ramirez or like Eddie Hearn, he ain't they ain't risking Callum Smith like that. They ain't, they ain't. Callum Smith needs to step up against someone like that. Yeah, man, think, put, put him in there with Gilbert. Give him, give him Der, Der, um, Derek Edwards. I think Rocky Fielder should go against someone like that as well, man. I think they could beat him. I, I don't. Gil Maria is not that good, man. He still ain't that good, man, for real. You no. Know? You think those guys could beat him? Nah, I think I think yeah, I think Gilbert. No, man, Gilbert ain't that good, man. I Gil- mean, I think he has potential. That's what I say. I'm not gonna say he's a ki- he's a killer right now, but he, he definitely has potential. Mm. But Edwards did did last the distance with Darrell, but that don't say much, does it? Mm-hmm. He was dominated. Yeah, he, he did. He tagged Darrell in the last one. He did him in the yeah, but like it it doesn't mean nothing. He was dominated. He was just beat up for the yeah. for the entire fight, though. Hey, hey, where's what you need at, man? What you need? Come back to seconds, man. Come back for round. I think he got something wrong with his laptop. Um, with um, T, I think T with T, I think T must jump over the boxing voice. All them guys don't jump over. Look, man, ain't nothing getting over the boxing voice. This is the new shit right here. And also, hey, I appreciate you guys in the chat. Continue giving us questions out here. I'll try to feed them in. Um, apparently, Floyd's in the BT Awards with some looking with some button up suit or something like that. So I'm not selling it. Um, is the BT? I had Bradley Vargas 116-112. 116-112. That's what someone in the scorecard. I had the I had Bradley the probably the 117-111 one is, is is more near to me, bro. I forget yeah, it. I mean, that's one round. Okay, I'm not. I, I ain't arguing with that. Hmm. Hmm. I think he just. Um. I think Bradley completely dominated the fight, and and the thing is, you could. I don't know why they're giving 10-8 rounds when 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 there's no gloves hitting the ground. Man, they just make it. Like, the thing yeah. Is, what it, what it, was that? Making a rule and, as well. and and Harold Letterman, you've been in the game t- too long for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man, don't do that. And and it's and it's a it's a round that Bradley was was clearly winning yeah. before he got rocked. Yeah, you know what I mean? He didn't. He yeah, it wasn't ten nine. It wasn't ten nine. Yeah, ten, come on. Eight, you know what? Let's talk about ten eight. Let's talk about it. If a guy's rocked, yeah, and he's badly beat up, would you give him a? T- I don't give him a ten eight until the guy touched the canvas. No. Especially if he's winning majority of round. Let me tell you, when I see a 10-8 round and the person doesn't hit the canvas, if you're just getting beat from pillar to post for the entire round and you cannot, the opponent cannot muster any offense whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? Any, you, you're barely throwing shots back. You're just getting beat up. Like the, 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 the punch count is like 50 to 2. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then... Then you can make an argument for a 10 8 round mm-hmm. without somebody yeah. hitting the canvas. Yeah, I'm well on 10 8. Get yeah. out of here with that, yeah. man. Yeah. Shit, bullshit, man. They're making up school cards as they go along, trying to tie him up. Trying to, it seems like they're just trying to favor him 
favoritism against the established champion, which is Bradley. And, and you see the home support Bradley had. It was like, come on, man, already, man. Like, give this guy a break, man. Like, Max Killam came down hard, man. Yeah, Vargas, this ain't Vegas, homeboy. You ain't getting no nods out here. <laughs> Vargas is still upset. Like, he, he ain't got his undefeated record. I think he wants to be like Floyd. I think this guy. Uh, it's like, a wrap. That <laughs> was fighting like Eric Morales. He was fighting like a worse version of Eric Morales I've ever seen, bro. Oh, Eric Morales can fight, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's rap. Rap, man. I mean, I don't know if we would have had him better, but I don't know. I don't know, man. He looked better in his last fight, but look at the opponent, the opponent though. It was Antonio yeah. DeMarco. That's right. That's what I'm saying, man. You step up from it the It was court. Antonio DeMarco, so let's put it in perspective, but he did look better in the last fight. The thing, yeah, this is the thing, yeah. Like, if you look at Bradley's schedule, he playing, he looked that, looked that dude because his resume, like, he's been fighting them people. So this is when I say he deserves against play because the, the strength of schedule. He deserves that. Dude. Well, out of all of them, I, I, mean, I mean, Carl's got a couple of names on his thing, but he ain't got no Bradley skill. If anything, Bradley should fight I mean, Carl and then the winner fight Floyd. That should happen. But Floyd ain't going to wait around for that shit, man. Floyd's, ba- Floyd's bailing. Floyd's bailing, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He might. Floyd's 150. I don't know. He's bailing. Yeah, and, 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 and in person, Beats, I want to say, excellent video you put out the other day, man. I couldn't have said it better myself, man. Jeez. Okay. Oh, what about um, Floyd and, and Jeffries? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, my man. God. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, come on that, Namit. Tell the people what you tell the people. The dude is a promoter. What right. do you expect him to do? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He is on his last and final fight. Like, the only reason, let me tell you. Let me Look, let, look man. Floyd, I'll put... I personally would like to see Floyd in a competitive fight for his last fight. You know what I mean? I would like to see him in a in a in a particular fight, in the Eris Landy Lara fight. That's just my opinion on it. But most and majority of people who want to see Floyd in a competitive fight, a 38 year old, about to be 39 year old fighter in a competitive fight for his swan song, is because he hasn't lost yet, and they want to see him lose. Yeah. That's it. There's nothing else. There's nothing complicated about it, because most fighters who are in their swan song fights fight tomato cans. Tommy Hearns fought a tomato can in his swan song fight. You know what I mean? Aaron Pryor. A lot of these people. Yeah, of course, of course. Of Eric course. Morales went after Eric Morales lost to what's his name? Lost to Danny Garcia, he took his ass to Mexico and fought him a tomato can on the way out. Yeah. That's what they do. Some people didn't understand what I was saying. Like, you know what I mean, like they they tried to act like I didn't know what I was talking about. Like talking condescending to me, like I didn't understand the narrative of Jeffries. But yeah, ba- basically all it, all it was, all I was saying is that he did nominate two fighters to fight for the championship, and the the whole argument that that ruined his reputation. Is preposterous because if that ruined his reputation, why did they dig him up from out of the farm six years later to fight Jack Johnson? It doesn't make any sense. Went, yep, they dug him up to come beat up this loud mouth nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's and it. Like, yeah, 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 that's right. And the argument that Floyd is just doing it to cherry pick and Jeffries wasn't well, that's bullshit as well because Jeffries wouldn't defend against black contenders, so he was ducking at and he all. was cherry picking. So that's some bullshit. At right. all. So yeah. <laughs> That's the history lesson on that. I'm like, uh, but I, I just, I, I, I knew people will find a way to twist what you said. Yeah, of course, of course they did. I knew it, cause it involves Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. God. Oh. Sweet. I've never seen this shit before. I've never seen a dude in boxing so hated. No, I've never seen. I've seen that. hated boxers. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I've seen boxers that people don't like, but this yeah. is some new shit. Straight up, it's the people who who can who never find anything remotely positive, no matter what he does. They're they're the they're the guys, man. They're they're the extreme haters. Look, man, I extreme look, haters. I don't I, I I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. I don't get it, man. But but twenty years from now, 
a lot of people will be singing a different tune. I guarantee you. It won't even be that long, man. Not even that long. It won't be that long. Not even that long. What you need is what you need. Put your back right back in, bro. Yeah, man. Y'all talk about Sam Solomon versus uh, Dominic Wade? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Y'all talked about well, it already? No, yeah. yeah I, I put my two cents in. I thought I thought Solomon edged it by one point. What you think? I, I thought he edged it too. I thought he edged it. Oh man, you do as well, man. Oh damn, man. Yeah, yeah, but he's ugly, man. His style is ugly. He likes Sean Porter, but he even uglier. That's why I gave you an eye inflation. But uh he was effective, man. He he kept the dude from uh 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 from 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 from, from land, throwing much. Whenever he threw, he threw his jab, his jab was effective and that little check hook was effective. But Sam Solomon, for the most part, he would throw a jab, come inside, he would land that jab too. And then those uppercuts on the inside were good, man. Yeah, yep, there we go. Them those uppercuts, uppercuts, man. man. So, hey, y'all see this picture, right? Woo! That's Danny Garcia, uh, baby mother, man. Like, look closely, I don't know, man. She look like a dude of it, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm the same, man. She looks like a dude of it, man. She looks tight, bro. Like, She's like a dude of it. This, this you, is sure, a you sure that's not his sister, though? Oh, that's his baby mother. That's his new baby. That I just read it on the Premier Boxing. And that's, I'll tell you what, his dad, Mackin, though. Look at his wife, though. She all right, though, isn't it? She's got a tight that's, that's his mom, mom man. man. That's, that's, that's who's what? That's their family. That's yeah, their yeah. family. Yeah. I feel that's his sister you're looking at, though. Hold on one minute, man. I'm on Premier Boxing, for real? Let me see that. Let me see that, okay. He got twin sisters. That's not his sister. That's not his sister? Yeah, I told oh, you. Yeah, he got twin sisters. Okay, yeah. okay. I told you, that's his baby, yeah. Garcia's baby shower. That's right. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's his wife. Look, that kind of looking like a dude out there, out of the Lord of the Rings, man. I'm telling you, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. She looks like a dude a bit. She, man, she man. look like a pretty dude, man. That's a pretty dude. I don't know, man. <laughs> that's a, if that's a dude, that's a pretty dude, man. Wait, she ain't that ugly, man. Come on. Hey, we, we oh, think. Oh, man. Come on. She just fat and pregnant. Hey, Chris. You say Chris? I'm for this. Ain't no such thing as a pretty dude. Bad luck. Oh, you, know, you know there's some weird dudes who did the, 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 the uh, what you might call it, the, the, all the hormone therapy and all of that, and you don't know it's a dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The hormones be in there, man. Like, hard, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but Danny looked big, man. Danny looked big in there. Yeah. You walk around at 168 pounds. That's what Nancy Woo! Richardson said. Wow. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a welterweight, and he was squeezing into that 140 pound division way after his ex expiration date. Man, get out of here with that. That's what Nassim Richardson said. He said he don't know how in the hell he was making 140 all them years. I told y'all after that Lamar Peterson fight, ain't none of them fighting at 140 no more. Get out of here. Wow. Wow. None of them fighting at no 140. You see how much they weighed at the uh, at, on the on the day of the fight? Yeah, Peterson was huge. Yeah. Not only that, <laughs> Al, you remember when we interview we interview Chop Chop Corley? He said Danny is big too. Yeah, he said Danny spar spar yeah. with Danny too. Yeah, he said he said um Brooke was big as well. Remember, he said Brooke was big. He said both of them big. Yeah, he said both of them big strong. Brooke is solid, man. The boy look hard. He's solid. Corley yeah. said he walks Cal around at 170. Cal Brook is the old school welterweight. He's a what? Yeah, he's the real welterweight. Yeah, yeah, Cal Brook is an old school welterweight. One of them Tommy Hearns type of welterweights. Yeah, boy. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, boy. He ain't gonna know what they're He ain't gonna know what they're doing. They, they protecting him, though. Giving them people like, bro, I even, you, you don't get no props from me fighting Brandon Reels. I just, I'm not having it. I, I don't care. I agree. I agree. I, I, I second that. That resume is whack, man. You can't be fighting people like Brandon Rios. Yeah, that's, that's, I, I, that's I, another mismatch. I, I can't hey, take that. Last one, uh, Brandon Rios gave damn Chavez hell, and y'all say he gave the Chavez gave Bradley a good fight, so we can't like do that, man. Yeah, I can't do that, man. And enough things will. Chavez was winning that fight. Brandon, yeah. if Chavez don't get disqualified. Chavez wins that fight. What, bro? <laughs> My new beats were gonna say. <laughs> what? Yeah. Man, I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? Like, and like, I, like I said before, right? Um, Brooke isn't doing not nothing different to what the other guys are doing if they don't get the Floyd fight. They just you know I mean? like they screw up their face and skin up and Floyd this, Floyd that, and then they don't fight each other. So, they ain't fight Rios. Why not? I mean, um, is Rios any worse than Colazo? 
Lazo's a former welterweight champion, man. Rios yeah. Rios, Rios, yeah, is but... not, Rios is not a real welterweight. I'm, I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting that. That's what I'm trying to say. He's just trying to get guys from the lower weights, man. Well, you know you have a big advantage. And then the Frankie Gavin one. I, I knew they were going to do that. Like, you, you, all for, listen, this is Eddie Hearn's theory, yeah? Bro, keep the money, fight guys, but you're not going to be threatened. There's not a threat, man. They're not a threat, bro. They're not. A, they're not. They're not. They're, come on, man. You're come on. You've got the. You're basically. It's a such a. You, oh, man. But none of the world weights are doing anything. So why should he? Well, none of them are doing anything. Yeah. Well, well, well Keith Furman saying he wants to fight the very best. But he said he's not going to fight Errol Spence. And like him, him and Porter are not going to fight each other. So they have a, that's just that's just talk. Nah, I tell you what, yeah. No punch in the view. You know what? If 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 Porter, if no, sorry, if Brooke. Gave Errol Spence the shot. I give him fucking mad respect, bro. I give him mad for sick to give him fucking bro. I give him mad for giving Errol Spence a shot. Let's give, Errol, I give him a shot. But you th you think that Errol Spence is well? I mean, he he's a much more skilled than uh uh uh, uh and uh Rio San uh. Well, that, yeah, that's real. Listen, man. He, 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 I'll tell you, man. I, I'll tell you. So, so social media is the damaging thing. Like, like. One minute, one guy's not a natural well away, or he hasn't got enough experience, or he's got the belt, and you're saying he's still got to do more. Just to go, just fucking fight. Just fight. You can't fight, fight, fight. Look, God, man, man, I'm, I'm man. on record. I'm on record on here, on Twitter, on my own channel, saying that Errol Spence beats Keith Thurman right now. He does, but wow. I don't think they should wow. rush. The, I don't think they should rush the fight. At the same time, I don't think they should rush the fight. That is good. And then that is committed, boy. I'm, I'm, I'm serious about that. You know what I mean? I, I think er Errol Spence should fight a contender. Somebody's yeah, Keith Thurman. Yeah, fight, uh, fight Keith Thurman, a contender. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keith yeah. Thurman is definitely a contender. Right, yeah, fight Keith, Keith Thurman. Thurman is definitely yeah, a contender. Fight a, a contender, Keith Thurman. I'm down with that, man. I'm down with that, for real. I, I, I for real, I, man. Yeah. I, because, because he, to me, he's not the real WBA champ. Like no, if no, he's not. He's not a real, if, real if, champ. If um, if Quig no, ain't not. the WBA champ, neither is Thurman. You know what right. I'm saying? Exactly. We can't pick and choose. I I never considered him a proper world champion. Yeah. You have to be Floyd. So, you have to be Floyd, man. You can't just. If Errol Spence gets a world title, though, but you I know, I, I, I think uh, Kell Brook will look at him. No, but you have to you have to be a name fighter like Kell Brook beating the Porter. To get into the into, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the way I see it. It's just that that's how boxing's always been. You beat the guy, you beat the guy, you beat the guy. No no triple G. I would, I, I would just like to see him against somebody like a uh, uh, a Diego Chavez level before he gets in there with a Keith Thurman. Is that is that you know so much to ask for? I just want to see him step another level up because the the level of opponent he's been fighting so far have been lackluster. We gotta admit that. As much as the, I, I rate the dude, as much as I think he has a lot of talent, I've been watching him since the since um the the Olympic Games, and I was always said this kid is not meant for the amateurs, man. This kid has a pro style, and when he, and when he goes pro, he's gonna shake it up, man. You know what I'm saying? I think so, I, I think right now Brook beats I think Brook beats uh, beats Manny Pacquiao right now, man. I think. Okay. Yeah, Right Look, now, man, if, Floyd, if Floyd Mayweather Jr. co-signs someone to fight, that means he's worth fighting. Whether he can fight or not, that means he's worth fighting. Because you know what? Floyd, you know why? Because Floyd's earned the right, in my opinion, to, to put himself there because you know he's coming out of the game soon. If he co-signs a certain fight now, I think guys should go for it, man. Yes, yeah, they should. Man. Giving up a one of his belts. giving up one of his belts to let you fucking get some shine. Why, is, why would you take it as a disrespect to fight for one of his belts on his final undercard? People are taking it, man. I don't understand why you're going to take that as a disrespect. You want to be a belt. You want to be a champion. Take one of his belts. Put yourself right. in position and then call him out, man. Like, like how, how popular do you really think you are? Exactly. <laughs> Errol Spence really in his heart of heart wants to call Floyd out, right? But I think he's just hanging with Floyd until he gets into position. Because after his fight, he mentioned Floyd and he changes, detracted it. And he know he gave Floyd that business. He wants to fight Floyd. I think Floyd is trying to 
um put him on 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 um the the money team on the Floyd Mayweather promotions, dude. Yeah, I know. Look, I, look, 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 look. Here's the point. Errol Spence wants to fight a ranked contender, right? Someone in the top ten. So people yep. keep saying you need to fight someone. Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, Amir Khan, any of them guys is who we should fight. And there should be no more warm up to fight them guys so they, right. because none of them have did shit in boxing. So it's just the right time for Errol Spence to fight. Hey. Kenny, Kenny Porter ain't saying nothing, man. When Errol called him up, like, when Errol Spence said, I'll take that easy work. Porter, ah, Kenny, they ain't saying enough. The Porters ain't saying enough. I'm not saying they ducking him, but they ain't. Careful, Warrior. Huh? Listen, if Frankie Gavin can get a world title shot against Kell Brook, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter can fight Errol Spence. That's what Simple. I'm saying. There you go. Simple as that. If Brandon Briggs can get a shot against Kell Brook, why the fuck can't Errol Spence, man? Come on, man. Seriously. Like, Brandon Rios, does what have Brandon Rios done, yeah, to make him deserve a shot against Cole Brook? What did Frankie Gavin deserve to get a shot against Cole Brook? See, Cole Brook, man. To be honest, I think Brandon Rios has got more credibility. He, he beat Chavez, and he beat, he beat him, beat him, beat him fair, fair enough, because my man was flagging, he was winning the fight. Brandon was winning the fight, and he won. My guy, what? my man fouled out what? of the fight. He wasn't winning no fight. Of course he was winning, man. Of course he was winning. Crazy man. Brandon was, was winning not winning fight. no fight yes, at all. Was. Yes he was. Yes he was. He won, beat. he won that fight, and he has been a lightweight champion, and he won his last fight in good stuff. You know, so I, I I think he's got more credentials than even them guys there. To be honest, I know man. Not at welterweight. Not at welterweight. No, I, I agree with that. Not at welterweight. Not at well, welterweight. Well, if well if they're putting Chavez in significant fights, Brad so, so can um, Brandon Riss. Alfred, Alfred Brandon Beer has got no business at one well, point. Well, they shouldn't put some Chavez, um, that Chavez guy in no significant fight side of him. Chavez is garbage man, from Thailand. Well, they're put, always talking about him and putting him in, in trying to match him up in... Like, they've, been lying, they've been lying all day like Chris, so... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they've been lying all day. Yeah, all of them, all of them, well, listen. Chavez, Chavez, Chavez got a draw with Timothy Bradley. Check it. Hey, check. Chavez should go against Jesse Vargas. That's the fight I want to see right there. Yeah. Listen, too much posturing, man, about, oh, you Chavez, need to do this. Chavez will knock Vargas unconscious. Vargas, you think so? But that jab, man. Uh, what, you need your back? Yeah, no, man. Yeah. No, 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 go ahead, what you need. Go ahead, my bro. Go ahead. I'm just, I'm just jamming in. I'm just jamming. Nah, I, I, think, I think Chavez is garbage. I think Jesse is garbage. <laughs> Listen, oh, wow. this is what I don't, this okay, is what I don't who's like. Garbage, then? Who's more garbage? <laughs> I think Brandon Willis is garbage. I think they all need to make 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 a whole dumpster and put them in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's, he's, you, he's, just, he's just joking. He's just joking. <laughs> Rook and Khan. Rook and Khan. That didn't happen. Excuses. I want to see Spence, Bradley and Khan. Spence and Fing. Spence, look, look, man. Spence look. and Furman. That didn't happen. Excuses. Porter jumped out of the fight. Excuses. Carl won't do it. All, all of them have got excuses. And then they're talking about they want to fight Floyd. But they're, they're not showing any any willingness to fight each other. None of them. None of them. Curl Look, I, I, just, I just don't want Errol Spence to go out like uh, David Reed or Fernando Vargas or one of them dudes. Well, you know that's what his saying? business. That ain't my business. That's his business. I don't care. That's his business. Well, we have to go hard. <laughs> we have to be hard. Daddy. We have to go I, I, as a fan, I would love to see all those matchups because we got so much of these superstars out there. That's as a fan, I would love that. I know in reality, well, it's not going to happen. Go ahead, Chris. But um, Benitez was beating people when he was like when he had like 16, 17 fights. He was beating top ranked people. So why can't Arrow do it? Well, Wolf and Benitez, right? Yeah. 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 Yes, I suppose so. But Wolf's he was he was he was tested before he went for the title, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was 17, you know that. He was fucking 17. Yeah, he was one of the youngest champions ever. You know, in Mexico, yeah? In Mexico, you could start at 15 years old, you know? And that's what but he ain't Mexican. He's, he's, he's no, Puerto Rican. Rico. I know that, but yeah. in, maybe, I know, maybe, but I'm saying in Mexico, in Puerto Rico, you must maybe start boxing at 15, man. That's fucking yeah. hardcore, man. That is hardcore. Manny Pacquiao started at 15. It's hardcore, bro. Do that. Newton? Newton's out here. Spencer hasn't done shit to deserve a top. Top guy, what do you guys think about that? That's a uh, new. Yeah, no way. Oh, if, that's wow. the case, then, if that's the case, none of them have done shit to earn a for shot of Floyd. Then, if that's the, if we're gonna keep saying this, people ain't done shit. Well, none of you have done shit to fight Floyd. Then, if that's and the could, case, and they could argue Golovkin ain't done shit because he ain't fight. That's not true. 
the truth of the matter is these guys are so much better than the B level or the C level that they put them away within three rounds. So that means they're way above that level, and that's why they're saying, let me step up to this higher level. Uh, and Sean said Benitez for a top 25 guy at first, so that's what you're saying. Yeah. But you know, yeah. hey, you like I still hey. said, he still fought hey. top guys at younger age. He don't know what you're talking about. Go hey. ahead. This is the thing here. Yeah. Errol Spence here yeah, wants to be that dude. He wants to fight the top names. So who are we to deny him if he wants to fight the top names? Yeah. He's gonna fight. Yeah. You, don't, you don't need shit. You don't need to have to do shit to get up there. I mean, come on, Sean, man. You know what I'm saying? Beat my. He's saying beat Madonna. Beat what? Beat Madonna. Madonna's still eating flipping um Mexican. Chili or whatever. How's was Madonna doing? You are saying beat guys who ain't fighting? Guys who are about four, five pound over the welterweight limit? What are you talking about? Uh, he's, he's saying, um, not Madonna. He's saying, who's that that guy from New York? The one Umar like? Saddam, Saddam Ali. You mean Saddam Ali? He thinks he should fight Saddam Ali. That's when, a good, when, when, when that's they a do good that? Matchup. That's a tough rank guy though. Yeah, but and the really like, matchup though. That's never, Spencer never fought a B level guy. Yeah. So, it's true. It's true. A lot of guys but, 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 man. I don't but, want to hear that. Let him Spence going to destroy all them damn B level fighters. He need to fight a top ten. Yeah, he needs to. Sure, you need. You understand? Like, he, he, man, he wants to fight in in the eight, in the eight grade. Whatever he's gonna swim or sit. He's but, actually. Yeah, you don't want to keep fighting opponents he's like actually two, ranked two, two, top, He's actually racked top ten in uh, the WBA now. So, say, so he might. Who did you say then? If you didn't say Saddam Ali, who's your Errol Spence? Birdo. Look, 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 look. To be Put honest, him up against Birdo and let's see what happens. Uh, no, no, really Birdo's done, man. Birdo's done. Birdo, that's why. why. That's why. Oh, terrible, man. I didn't say that. Um, so I, who you say then? Who was you talking about then? Who you saying, Madonna? Who you saying, fam? Who you saying, Errol Spence should face Sean? Nah, look. What I'm saying is that. Yeah, it's not tired. Go here. Uh, no, I think no. Honestly, honestly. Yeah, I'm sleeping. A fight, fight! Oh, he's saying he should fight one of the guys in the top twenty-five. That's what he said. No, no, hell no, no. He shouldn't fight no dude in the top twenty-five. Sean Ty, he worked all night. Go ahead. Um, I think Errol Spence breaks down Porter. I think he breaks down Porter. He's hey, ready uh, to. He's ready to fight them guys now. No one knows anyone. If he fights the twentieth rank welterweight, nobody would know who that is. It won't do anything to advance but, but Len, with big Len, fights. Then uh, I mean, Bundu won over the weekend. He could fight Bundu. Well, that would be a good no, test. Was, be a good was, test for him. That's good uh, shit. Yeah, Bundu. That's all right, man. Bundu yeah, is a good fight. That dude, man. A Bundu. I'm not gonna lie to you. See, the thing is, man. Like well, see, what you have to realize, man. Like, you know, look, I'm good, but Bundu is not gonna fight Errol Spence, right? He's a Why old. Not? I tell you, he's an old aging fighter. Looking to get a, a big is he, is he how much is he gonna get paid for fighting Spence right now? Uh, so he's not gonna do see? it, right? Look, look, look at look, least look. six figures. Look, put him in with yeah. one of the put Spence in with one of the unbeaten guys. For me, it's a big fight. Whoever don't think it's a big fight, don't watch it. Don't You're right, watch though. it. I agree. You're right. I I, I couldn't I can't argue against you, but uh, I'm just saying that if you want to move him up a little slower, and you know. At, and those big guys don't want to fight him. You could still have the world title. I would, I would, the, I would, I would say, this is a good compromise. Hey, Devin sure. Alexander. Can he go in there with Devin Alexander before he fights Keith Thurman? Well, be, has Keith Thurman got a better resume than Devin? Uh, he has it, man. Wait, man. What's the point of that? Hey, uh, hey, uh, Thurman, they should fight him. Hey, of Thurman. course, of course. But what we're saying is if Thurman doesn't want to fight him, if Porter doesn't want to fight him, Andre Berto is the number one ranked WBA contender for Floyd Mayweather's belt and Keith Thurman's belt. Berto is supposed to be the mandatory for both guys or, or hey, one of them. Hey, B, so why not fight Berto for the time? Hey, uh, it's in the rankings. It's hey, in the rankings because I think he beat Jose Cito Lopez and the body of work he did, he ranked higher than the other guys. Wow. Which is hey, the arrow. Hey, Beach, uh, yeah, Sean's, Sean's replying back to you. So why won't a top guy fight Spence never beats? And then also he's put, if if Ben won't make money, I don't know if you Benny won't make money. Tell him, tell him to suggest who Spence should fight before he fight. So he's a top 25. You, you're, telling me, you're telling me, right, Spence has got to fight an eliminator to fight a contender. What stupidness is this, man? I mean, the other day we, we was asking a champion, Kel Brook, to fight an eliminator to defend his title. He's a stupid. Well, he said Thurman's a champion. He's, he's, a, he's, a he's not a champion. He knows he's not a champion. Alexander he's not isn't. Champion. Berto isn't. That's what he said. Uh, Keith Thurman is not a champion. 
That's right. He's not a way after, you know. Keith Jordan. Thurman is not a champion. He's, he's, a, champ, he's a champion like Scott Quigg. He's a champion. Right. That's he's not a champion. He ain't no problem. Yeah. <laughs> he's a champion like Triple G. He's a high level contender. He's a champion like Triple G's a champion. You know what I'm saying, Sean? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, you know it's about money, but I, I can't really defend it because, you know, if Thurman wants to fight uh, the dude, he'll fight him. If he wants to fight him later, he'll fight him later. He, there's no way I can really defend him saying uh, he shouldn't fight Errol Spence. I can't say that. But Thurman is, is a contender, so, you know what I'm saying? He's con yeah, well, yeah. He, he does that, have that's the my only problem with it. It's yeah. his response. He's saying, Furman, he's saying Furman isn't a contender. Furman isn't a contender. He's Who's that? That's what Sean, Sean's saying that, man. Y'all guys are looking for the chat. Yo, man, why don't you guys come out on the chat? So you shouldn't be miss me out here. Sean's laughing his head off. <laughs> Sean, who did he beat to be your champion, though? Now, come out on the chat, man. You guys are he in the house. Nobody. He just kind of inherited the regular title. That's how the WBA works. Yeah, WBC no, make you work for your title. Listen, the you fight's, have to fight somebody. fight's not going to happen anyway. So it's not going to happen. So they'll, they'll go. Yeah, it's, it's just a response that I had a problem with as far as Keith Thurman's response to fighting Errol Spence and being on a Mayweather undercard like that was beneath him. Like he, he has just attained so much uh, notoriety and credibility that he is <laughs> above being on a Mayweather undercard now. It, it's kind of <laughs> ridiculous to me. Yeah, to me as well. It really is. Really? Well, Porter Porter doesn't mind though. Porter's saying September twelfth they're gonna be fighting. So <laughs> whether it's a rematch with Broner, they're gonna make sure they're on that undercard somehow. Cause he ain't stupid. <laughs> like how much how much how much viewership are you gonna get? How much oh, people yeah. are you gonna get watching you? Yep. This is it. This is the this is the bow out. Yeah. I hey, agree. Hey, hey um, Sean Newton said, why would you why why um why would Furman who work hard Fight everyone. I don't know who's for everyone. Who's everyone? Would, would, uh, exactly, would fight a prospect. So that's what he said. Who's so he everyone? Said, well, because he, well, I'll tell you why. Because he said, no, 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 let it go. And he said, I'm a throwback fighter. I'll fight anyone. Well, I'm not seeing that. Well, who's, fight, who's, fight, fight Spence then. Who's, who's, who's he fought, Sean? Who's he fought, man? Like, like, like everyone. He said he fight everyone. Listen, hey, listen, listen, man. listen. Let me put, sorry, sorry, let me just answer quickly, right? If you if you are a welterweight walking around saying you will fight anyone, that's your statement. Well, you would definitely fight somebody who Floyd Mayweather co-signed you to fight. He's saying um, prove yourself. He's saying Port Arthur Furman is legit, spent not spent. So he's saying Spence is not legit in his eyes, man. Fair enough. He's not a proven. Yeah, but he that's his opinion, though. That's but, but that that's exactly what he was saying about Nicholas Walters before Nicholas Walters knocked out um uh Donito Donair. That's exactly what he said about Nicholas Walters. Same thing he said about Kell Brook too. Same he thing you said about Kell Brook. And the Eubanks fight when he switched when he switched the thing. Oh right? yeah, when he switched. The thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sure. Let, let Sean in the hangout and defend himself. I'm sure, man. But I don't want you. I uh, <laughs> uh, blocked him so he can't get in. So, <laughs> oh man! Oh man! He started talking some racist shit and some putting my faggots on that, so I blocked him. Oh man! It'd be nice to have him on here. I like the controversy, man. He stimulates everything. <laughs> I love the provocation, man. We gotta get that. Warrior. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? Saying that, I should let Andrew Senior in there, innit? <laughs> yeah, you should bring him in. You should bring him in. It, oh, it, yeah, it, man. What, what, what's, what's up with that? What you need? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He's calling me. He, he calling me out and stuff. So I, I, he can do work, though. He tell you that work, though. <laughs> no, I'm just no, up. I'm just seeing up right now. He made a video with Jay Dills not too long ago. He around. Yeah? Yeah, he around. He really listen, bro. Like, but the thing is, yeah, I'll be honest with you. On a one-on-one, on -on -one, like, then I think you might get the better of him because you know what you need. When you start talking, you don't let no one speak, so I think you're the man. You know what I mean? I kind of want to see the, hear the debate. I want to hear the debate. <laughs> hey, Beats, hey, um, Sean respond. I never talked racist shit. That that was Ben. That's what he said, man. So, um, yeah, ben talks that racist shit. Hey, ben Rumor, I don't know. Ben, I don't know. I'm not too sure about um, um, Ish uh, Ishmael Harden said um, Brooke versus Brooke versus uh, Keith would be dope, man. So he will see oh, that. Oh hell yeah. yeah! I would love to see that. Mm. That'd be I a super. Damn, 
Y'all talking about Saddam Ali? They negotiating Saddam Ali against Diego Chavez. That's what oh, I was reading. Oh, nice! That oh, really? Great All right, too. Yeah. They both top rank, right? See how they doing with Ali? Yeah. They keep on stepping up his levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They ain't throwing him to the wolves. Hey, beast, man. Mike, hey, why have to throw the yard man to the wolves, yo? Hey, two news. Mm -hmm. Mike mm -hmm. co-signed that I never changed my pick that week before the fight. Pound, I made my prediction. What, what was he talking about? I think he was talking about the waters and shit, right? What was he talking about? Uh, the thing is, is uh, uh, Saunders and you back. You Saunders didn't change back. Yeah. 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 What you need is my is my favorite newest favorite channel right now. So this guy likes you. What you need, man. You gonna do, yeah. gonna do something. Oh, right much now. love, man. Shout out. Ishmael Ish Ish Hardin. Ishmael Hardin, man. Thanks, man. You got hey. So thank you, man. Good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Wait, what you need? Um, no. Um, Sean Newton coming back, man. He, I don't know, man. He said Michael all the time. I don't know. What's that? No. Nah. Or oh, pound for pound. He's coming back on pound for pound. Cool, cool, cool. Looking forward oh, to seeing him, man. Sean sure Newton saying Michael can back him about his prediction. <laughs> He's still on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's cool. That's cool. I didn't say anything. It was just beat. I got the screenshots, though, so I don't know how people can yeah, back him. Yeah, the video was up as well. The video was up there. Yeah, um, you know what I mean? We, 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 I, I, I remember that video. You can always produce the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, screenshots. Yeah, it's not nothing to really debate there. Eh? <laughs> Video's up. Video's up, man. <laughs> you guys are you guys are running, boy. Yeah. Hey, boy. Yeah, I mean, bang to rights, bro. I mean, you could argue what you want <laughs> in the chat section. You know what I mean? You know you're gonna fucked up, right? Yeah, you man. know you're gonna fucked up, right? I'm, I'm, I'm watching my son ride his bike, yo. And why he learned how to ride his bike in like 20 minutes, B? It's so, it's so, it's what? Sure. Hey, B, Sean said you boy up, so he just, no, he just come back. Nah, Sean's sure just a troll, man. Let's do some boxing. Sean's sure a troll. <laughs> so, so you guys covered all the fights over the weekend, run and rang too? I'm not yeah. running rang? Who you covered it already? Yeah, we can do it. That fight was uh, terrible. That fight was terrible. Man, my signal, my signal was out. I didn't get to watch the fight, but I heard that. Yeah, man, that fight was terrible, man. That fight was terrible, man. It was that terrible. Was terrible. That, that was, no, it was in Solomon. It was it was in it was in it was in Philippines, man. Like he fought a Thailand fighter, like he was fouling. Fight was like wrestling. It was one of the worst fights I've ever seen. I wouldn't. It was no bad yet. No, that that fight, that that beat Chichiming. No, nah, yeah, yeah, that's him. He fought terrible. Listen, bro, to tell you how bad it was, yeah, that fight was so bad. I didn't even do no commentary. You know, I like to do commentary in them low fights. Yeah. I would, <laughs> I would, you guys, yeah, if I, if I put that fight, you guys would laugh me off. That fight was a comedy. Well, you guys sent me the link, man. I couldn't see it, so I, I had to go look. That was foul, foul, foul fight. It was horrid, horrid. Ugly. Anyone disagree is a troll. That's what Sean sure said. Anyone disagrees is a troll. Man, I'm going to go back to Errol Spence. He's rated number eight by the WBA. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, like, if the rat keeps saying he's world class, well, that's it. What do you mean? He didn't. He so, fights. Then he fought the Why would why would he fight a if you're number eight? Fight a number one, number two, one of them guys. Yeah, yeah. See, Sean agrees with me. He agreed that Errol. Yeah, see, Errol, I agree with you. Yeah, Brona beats poor. Brona beat poor. See, now nah, I told you, bro. Yeah, me. Yeah, Brona. Brona beat Porter. Yeah, Brona beat. Like I said, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. He landed cleaner punches. Yeah, but yeah. I don't, he didn't yeah. throw enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She sure, she sure knows his boxing, man. That's what I told you. Sure, I can't see, though. You can't see <laughs> evidently. Well, what? Never, man. Sure knows, man. Sure knows, bro. But yeah, both of y'all near side. Mm -hmm. Y'all bugging. <laughs> <laughs> Umar um, 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 going win the war. And, and Manny Pacquiao beat Floyd Mayweather. Yep. Yeah. No. <laughs> Don't try that one. They ain't give me on that one. <laughs> it's just how people say it. If he says he, if that's what he says, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. He got cataracts. <laughs> hey, Sean's so, still saying it. That, that's the new lick, man. That's the new lick right now. Hey, B, Sean's still saying he never beat no one in the top 25. Yeah, no. well, I'll tell you what. i tell you what, yeah. I can see lots of people ranked in the top 15 who ain't beat no, no, none of their peers in the top 15 in the rankings. So well, what, what does that say? You're right about that because Diego Chavez 
who was the interim WBA champion at the time, who did he fight to become that? Yeah, he beat everybody in Argentina. Yeah, in Argentina. Right. Tell, tell me the names of the fighters that he fought to be the interim WBA champ that Keith Thurman could get that from him. Right. In the first place. The answer. <laughs> Ain't even yeah. sure you say that, man. You back to <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Jesse Vargas was rated five. He never beat a rated welterweight. I don't think you think he even fought a welterweight before he fought Brandon. Yeah, he fought a welterweight, but yeah. like a tune-up fight. Some tune-up fights. He fought well, Jose Cito Lopez at welterweight. He didn't fight no oh, world class. No, he did it. No, he did not. Well, 147. No, it's 140. It was yeah. at 140. Yep, he didn't, fight no, he didn't fight nobody in the top 15 to be ranked number five. Yeah? And he fought Tim Bradley. Yeah. And, he, and all he's got, his resume is full of dodgy decisions. So I don't know about all this this warm up. Including the whole Casita yeah. Lopez one. Right, exactly. I don't see why certain fighters have to take all these other warm ups. And other guys ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense to me. Don't mean, man. Everyone knows, yeah? The rings are fixed anyway. Yeah, people are basing Errol Spence on a skill set more than anything. What if that's the case? Let him fight then. Let yeah. that fight. I mean, yeah, I'm, not, I, I'm not against it. I, I'm agreeing with you, Beach. But I'm just saying, if I'm going to throw a counter argument, I could say, well, why not give him some more time? Who did JoJo Dan beat in the top ten? To I have no idea. Win? I don't understand that one. <laughs> Who's Kevin Bison? Who? Somehow Kevin he was the number one contender, though. Right. And the mandatory right. by the IBF. Right. The IBF right. is supposed to be the most prestigious um, um, organization out there today. Right? Kevin Beiser is ranked. Who's Kevin Beiser be in the top film? I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't follow him. And guys like Chris career. Van Heerden. Who's he be? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sean sure said, sure said it's funny you're arguing against yourself. Yeah, that's what you said. Sean, sure, troll. Yeah. All I'm saying, I, I mean, I think what a lot of people miss is that just because a guy may not have a name don't mean no, you know you're a troll. I told him that before. <laughs> that a guy don't have a name, it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, the guy ain't good. So, like Bundu, for instance, I didn't know nothing about Leonard Bundu, but when I started doing my research on him, the brother can fight. And that's why I was like, whoa, I learned a new fighter and I actually became a fan. So, I mean, you know... You know how the ranking system is, where you know you register and so on, you start to move up the rankings, and there's some people you just don't know. He's like, who this dude? And then when you really check up and you research on the guy, he's a, you know they're decent fighters. Emmanuel Taylor is a decent fighter. I'm not saying he's the greatest, but he's a decent fighter. So you know that's all I'm saying. Le Leonard Bundu, I came, I, I first seen him against Purdy. Like I was, and he, he was like, he was like 30 fights in by that time. I'm like, Lee Purdy for Devin Alexandra. For the world title, right? Right, right. As, as, a, as a last minute replacement, though. Yeah, yeah. Regardless, regardless. It, it, it should have been Cal Brook. If he can fight for a world title, Errol Spence can fight any of them guys. Yeah, yeah. You ain't, <laughs> yeah, ain't getting pro to Sean thinks he's being pro to the Wolves, man. No, I agree with Beast. You know what I mean? And, I mean, he is he, he is talking that shit. He said he he body Keith Thurman. You know what I mean? I sure said a troll is where where it's, um a troll. So we are talking boxing, and I am a troll. Get over yourself. That's what he's saying. So everyone on the panel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now what's the next topic? No one cares what y'all doing talking about. Okay. <laughs> 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 what do you want us to say? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what's up? We kept the fouls. You feel really, really tr troll annoying. It's all the same thing, Sean. You know what I mean? Funny, well, you know, Sean, Sean has his opinion, I would say. I like it because he's, he's creating yeah. that conversation, that little rustling mess. When somebody brings Sean to a name, well, I go, ah, oh, again. Hmm. But, um, we go. It's an Olympic. Sean is uh, aerospace at Olympic, and me, me and entire, entirely respect. Yeah, he said he's Olympic. He gets that respect. He's Olympian for real. He's a, you know, aerospace man. It's about time some of these guys get in there, man. You know. And he, he went the furthest of all the Olympians um in 2012. You know what I mean? Yeah, Didn't they rob him too? Didn't they rob him? So yeah, he they robbed him. Semis? 
Yeah, yeah. Like he was supposed to get, get in at least into the bronze medal round. Yeah. Keith Thurman's gonna mess him up. He deserves his shot to get messed up. Because <laughs> <laughs> beats beats don't rate the youth, but watch. Don't jump on the bandwagon later, beats. Keep keep right. this keep the same attitude toward Errol Spence. Oh me, man, I, I, I go in the ring with the champ will come out regardless if he loses. Yeah, yeah me, beats is beats ain't gonna beats ain't gonna budge. It's all good though, cause like. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't too impressed with Errol Spence's last performance. But Me too. I don't think he's going to be Keith Thurman right now, but if he wants him, let's get, let's get it on, man. Let's get it on. The PBC card is getting these fights out. I think we want to see it, you know? You know? Let's get it on. I think he'll beat him right now, but at the same time, I don't believe in Russian fighters, man. I don't I think believe in Russian Spence fighters. Spence has that great inside work. He, listen, he really works that inside nice. Real nice. Listen, some fighters... You can't you can't drag some fighters out. If you drag some fighters out, they're just gonna pick up bad habits. Some fighters you gotta let them go. People say that David Reed got thrown in too early. No, he didn't get thrown. In. You know what I mean? It, his career panned out high. Some people are just fast burner. They just you know they have their moments and they burn out quick. But he was ready two, to fight. He won the title. Two hey, reasons. Hey. Two reasons David Reed burned out quick. They threw him in too early, and he had that shit over his eye. I think the eye was more probably thrown in too early. You know what I mean? So that those were two. I mean, he, at, at 15 fights, he should be in there with Felix Trinidad, really? Why not? He beat. I mean, that's because Felix he Trinidad, beat. Uh, man. That's because he <laughs> beat that dude that knocked Terra Norris out. What was the guy that knocked Terra Norris out? Beat. Uh, uh, Vince. No, no, no. No, it was the old school. Uh, no, no, I'm not very off. No, I can't remember his name now. He lost to Winky Wright. He lost to Winky Wright too. But he beat that guy. That guy was in the top ten. So he, no, it wasn't him. Hold on, I'm a box record right quick. It wasn't him. He yeah, beat him on HBO. Hey B, hey B, no, B. Um, I appreciate a link so you can read some of these chats here. So, cause you know what I mean, cause I'm I'm doing so right now. Yeah, let me get a link so you can read some of this chat, right? If it's your new, I want to read you. Nah, nah, read what you want to read, man. Read what you want to read. You know what I'm saying, yeah. I don't mind. I'll, I'll do sure later on, but you can do it in it, yeah? Because I'll leave it in the chat, yeah? You just press the link and just check some of these dudes, because... Yeah, I can do it as well, because I'll be eating something. Yeah, if you guys can do it, because I, 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 I was um, I was just writing something out. Yeah. Hey, right, man, some of you guys, we, we answer, this, answer some of the questions. We, what do you need? Yeah? You want to answer some of these guys in the chat, right? Uh, okay. What, 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 what is it? Yeah, here's the link, yeah? So you can see outside of the hangout. And guys are asking questions, man. So you just occasionally just, just, just there's a link. You, know, you just press that. And you can see outside. Of, a lot of these guys. There's some hey, 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 hey. Get out the road. <laughs> awesome questions, man. Yeah. yeah. You guys, what you need is going to be asking your questions now from now on. But, um, yeah, go ahead, Beats. Yeah, see, the thing, that that's the thing, man. Like, people keep saying, like, you know, fight this guy. But, uh, you know, like, when yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. When you're a prospect, you've had 17 or 16 fights. Then you know you either fight somebody between 25 or 20. What's the difference? You know he's an Olympian. He's fought for a long time. He thinks he's ready. What's the difference? Yeah. If Eddie Thurman, then fight someone else recognized. He now. That's the, the guy he beat. Beat still is Keith Mullins. Yeah, Keith Mullins knocked Keith out. Mullins. Beat, I mean, Keith Mullins. Oh. Beat. He beat Terry Keith Norris. Mullins. Yeah. Yo, that, that that that's a Jamaican dude, and he's a welterweight. I seen um what's his name, uh what's his name knock him out as one of his uh first def defenses after he won the title from Oscar Shane Mosley. Yeah. Keith no, Mullins. Shane Mullins ain't fight Keith Mullins. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. I'm looking at his box right. He didn't fight Keith Mullins. Nah. Um, Javier, hold on. Javier, Javier Cotillo. He ended Terry Norris's career. He beat Terry he had Norris. Long, he had long arms. That's what I remember. He beat Terry Norris. He fought um who did he beat for the belt? He beat he went the um distance against hold on his wins. He beat Dave, he lost to David Ray. He beat he fought um Javier Castillo Castillo for the um one fifty four title who lost to Oscar. That's who beat Oscar beat. Yeah, and um, he fought. Fight, fight, he ain't fighting. Um, he he fought Ralph Marquez too. Yeah, Ralph Marquez. 
Hey, what you need? You win the question today. Yeah. World champions. Sure. Bill was all world champions at 154. Well, Bill won his first title in his 11th fight. Shamari, Shamari Charles asks, why not Thurman versus Pork Porter, Brooke versus Khan, winners face each other, then the winner that faced Floyd in September 2015? Well, I like that. I like that. See, so you might tempt Floyd out of retirement if they do something like that. But all this bitching, I, I mean, Floyd don't fight me. I ain't going to do shit. I mean, I ain't going to get nowhere. Um, Ishmael Harden said um, Spence needs to find his own claim, not follow others' claims. Yeah, that's what, I don't know what it means. That's what he said. I understand what that means. Yeah, go next one, go next. Sean Newton says you don't want to watch Spence fight some B-level guys to see if he's really legit before stepping up to the top-level guys? That's all he's been beating up, B and C-level guys. Why you got to keep fighting them guys? I don't understand that. Uh, which which, which B-level guy? Which B-level guy? Sean Newton's eyes. fighting B-level guys. Why which, which, ABC? Yeah, man. Step up, man. We want to see guys step up, man. That's all. Yeah. I'm saying Berto's a perfect perfect fight because he's the number one contender. He's getting his jab. They, he's, he he done drop Birdo in sparring. Man. He done no. beat Birdo up and just, right. hey, hey, he he from his sparring. Why would the Soko Karras? Soko Karras beat Birdo. That man a finish. That man a finish. Soko so Karras is fighting 154. He'll never make 47. Hey, Soko Karras fought yesterday in the bare knuckle fight, man. Show the shit um, Spice Mosley. Wow. Yeah, they fought yesterday, man. Soko Karras fought in the bare knuckle. I need to find that, right? But, um, Shane Mosley Jr. knocked out his opponent in one in like 15 seconds. It was crazy. Junior? Yeah, yeah. he walked out the corner and, and hit the dude, and it was a wrap. Mm -hmm. Oh snap! That's matchmaking. Yeah, but that's matchmaking, though, isn't it? It's probably, probably. Yeah, they gave him a bar. They gave him a um, guy from the from the bar, you know. <laughs> Listen, yep. one of them guys knock out the guy who Floyd co-signed. You know what I mean? That makes it a statement. You can't make, none of them are making no statements. Khan didn't want to make a statement. Yet. None of these guys are making statements. Yeah? So let, let Keith Urban say he wants to headline. Uh, I don't know who he's going to headline against. Let's, let's see what he does. Because he's not going to have Sean Porter in there. He's not going to have Khan in there. He's going to have none of the legal contenders. So, so you telling me you tell me how he's going to raise his profile. So he's going to be this headline he's talking about. Hey, what you need, yeah, like, yeah, good job, what you need, getting, getting in there, getting in the trap. Nice one. So what you need. I'm sure we can stay in Berto, Alexander, or Bailey. That's Bailey. He's Bailey. Like crazy. He be, what, you trying to say like um, uh, aerospace and face them guys, man? man oh. Yeah. That that sounds good, though. That sounds good. Uh, man, uh, Bailey. Didn't you see how slow Randall Bailey looked in when he fought Devin Alexander a few years back? What's the matter with these people? <laughs> What's the matter with these people, man? But 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 Alexander's a southpaw like uh uh like uh Errol Spence. So I want to see him face another southpaw. How would he handle the southpaw look? I mean, it's a, it's a it's a I mean, it's, it's a question. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a challenge stylistically, man. Yeah, yeah. It is. Nah, I don't know about that, man. I don't know. Devon, Devon ain't look good in a minute. He he ain't win his last two fights. He, he looked good. He looked good against Soto Karras. Okay, that's it. He didn't look good against Sean Porter or Amir Khan. Not at all. Yeah. Hey, I sure know it's Bailey just, Jeff Bailey just won his fight, so. Against who? So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understood. He didn't look good against Saul Caress. He didn't look, definitely didn't look good against Saul Caress. Um, he says he got big power and he got a good resume. Okay, who did he fight last? And he ain't done that, shit. This, this Randolph Bailey we talking about? Randolph ba Bailey has been like, like the, the he old, been around forever since yeah. since Corley days. Since he beat um the Jones guy, oh, Adrian Stone. Right? He yeah. got beat by Chop Chop Corley. Mike, Mike Jones. Mike Jones. He knocked out Mike Jones. That Mike Jones. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't got yeah. crap since then. Even even for when he, um he bought that that Juan Urango, he was washed up from the end. Yeah, Juan Urango knocked him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know. we'll put him in there because I tell you what, right? When when you put Spence in there and he flattens them guys out, 
then you're still going to say he ain't ready to do anything. Nah, I won't. Yeah. I just want to see him against so, so, a, a level of fighter higher than he's been fighting. He's been kind of this, to be yeah. honest with you, his his Gary Russell fought better fighters than Errol Spence have been fighting. Yep, yep, yep. Let, yep. Let, let's let's keep it real. We yeah, like, he had, just he had some see good fights with someone, someone solid before you know he fights the number one contender. Say. Say, um, what's his name is a contender? He is the number one contender. Before he fights the number one contender, at least let, let's see him against their, let's see him against someone solid. What you see? Yeah. See what you just said there. Test that I, chin. You know what? All these guys we're talking about, Jesse Vargas and, and um, Gary Ross, they've all been protected, man. The thing is, yeah, like, when they finally find, like, Jesse Vargas finally fought a live opponent, yeah, you saw what happened. They're out of class, man. They've been... Exactly, was, because they weren't prepared. They weren't back. prepared. Yeah, they weren't prepared. If they want to go in, in the big time, let them go in. When when Roberto Duran went against, who's that guy from New York and he took the world title of him? The young guy, Michael Moore. Is it Mora? No. What's his name again? Or oh, the mid, light middleweight title he took. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what's his name? Uh, hey, David, Moore. Barkley. 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 David, yeah. David Moore. David Moore. David Moore. David Moore was at 154. Junior middleweight. Junior middleweight. Sorry, David Moore. Yeah. If he beat Roberto Duran, he would have been that dude. So you've got to realize this is what boxing is about, man. Risk taking. Yeah, David Moore. David Moore was rushed too because he was like Olympic, uh, not Olympic, but a uh, 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 yeah, amateur. Uh, he beat Benitez just like a Duran fight. He yeah, but he didn't really beat he didn't really beat Benitez, man. Benitez yes, had a Yes, he did. Leg. Did you watch the fight? He, he dropped him. Out. He dropped him, but then Benitez was late. He knocked him out, man. No, he didn't knock him out. Yeah, you ain't watched the fight. You ain't watched the fight. He knocked him out. That's not true at all. This you know you ain't watched the fight. You ain't watched the fight. No, you didn't because he knocked him out. No, you didn't. He knocked him out. But it wasn't because he knocked him out. Oh, he did knock him out. Look up box red. Stop making stuff up. No, no, I didn't go no box red. He got knocked out. He got knocked out, bro. What? This is never got knocked out. Nah. Come on, guys. Listen, stop. Go watch the fight again, man. What are you talking about, man? This is the second time you've done that. You said um Danny Jacobs um didn't get knocked out by Pierrot. You don't watch fights, man. And you keep it means. Yeah, Benitez got about. knocked out. What you need? No, 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 no. Benitez never hit the canvas. He hit the canvas. Yeah, you ain't watched the fight. You ain't watched the fight. Maybe more. He got. He hit the canvas, but he twists his leg, and that's why he went back to the corner. You guys watch fights? They went back and nah, you didn't watch the fight. Ever did. Went back into the fight. Yeah, he got knocked out, bro. Benitez was throwing a lot of punches. He was dunking a lot of the punches. Got knocked out, bro. Rolling a lot of the punches. I'm looking at the fight now. He got knocked out, bro. Nah, he didn't get no knockout. He got knocked out. You guys, nah, come on, man. Yeah, come on, come on here. He got knocked out. It's gonna be over after that. Just pull up the fight, man. Just pull up the fight, guys. Just pull up the fight and watch it again. I ain't gotta pull it. I watched it two times. I don't need to keep pulling it over. Do what? I, I'm gonna mute everyone. I'm gonna mute everyone. Yeah. No, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, what you need? Uh, read the yeah. question. Read the question in the chat, man. Let's keep it going. Sure, 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 sure. Um, right. Sean was saying. Sean was saying that uh, Moore was champion. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, you're saying he like he, he already made about four or five defenses. He was one of the. He was the biggest prospect in the game. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. He was, yeah. he he was, was champion. champion. He also said, don't hate on Same it. Same thing like the... David Reed was champion. Listen, listen. Let me have the floor for a second. Let me have the floor for a second. Let me have the floor Let what you need to read that was in the chat and then you do that. Sean also said, don't hate on it. All the good young guys have fought this type of come up fighter. That he used to refer to Bailey. Listen, listen, listen. Forget Sean Newton, right? Like, like, listen, the fact that you, you keep saying fights happen the way and they didn't, right? My guy got pinned on the rope and beaten up. What are you talking? There was no twist ankle. You didn't see the fight. Like you I didn't say twist ankle. I said his knee. No, his Go knee. Go watch it again. No, his right there. knee. His right <laughs> knee. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> I'm very specific. Oh, man. I'm watching watch the fight. Again. No, no, no. kicking his foot all the time. No. No, you didn't see the fight. You didn't see the fight. You clearly didn't see the fight. <laughs> How do you mean I didn't see the fight? I'm telling you what happened in the fight. I didn't see the fight. Why are you telling me I didn't see the fight? That's not what happened. He got pounded. <laughs> oh, shit. What are you talking about? Knee and foot injury. No, that didn't happen. He didn't get kicked. What are you talking about? Go watch it. 
Go watch it. No, no, no. Oh, just watch it. <laughs> oh, oh, I know I was going to be controversial again. Oh, I like this. I like this. They don't dump certain things no, in no, boxing. No, no, no. Controversy is when you have a compelling point. Saying you talking about fights you haven't seen is not controversial. Hey, dude, I watched the fight. Stop, stop saying that. Stop <laughs> saying that. It wasn't I watched the injury. fight. I watched the entire fight. It didn't it move by foot injury. Go no, watch the fight. There you yeah. go, right here. There you go, right here. I'm looking. <laughs> Hold on. What are you talking about? <laughs> you got, got him, knocked him, off, you got him in the corner. You got off. knocked off. <laughs> Can you see that? Clearly, I've never seen these fights. Clearly, I ain't seen them. Oh, man. I, I, <laughs> ridiculous. Davy Moore versus Will Trainer Brinitez, man. I, I'm not even going to debate you on it, man. Like, forget <laughs> like er Errol, man. Hey, Sean Errol. Newton said, Sean okay. Newton said, oh, hey, Sean hey, Newton said, hey, Spence hey, isn't hey, anything. Hey, we want to the next question. Go ahead. What you need? What's the next question? Yeah. He says Spence isn't anything. All right. Let me tell you, let, let me tell you specifically. <laughs> let me tell you specifically. Now, 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 what you need, you can make a, a, a argument for a little controversy, maybe. But he wasn't defending himself. He was getting pounded into the corner, and the referee stepped in and Never stopped the fight. fight. That's that what I'm saying. He Never didn't get knocked out, Cole. That's one. Two. He was using his defense. Yes, Davey Moore caught him with one or two shots as he was in there. Really? But, don't, 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 but, but don't make it sound Davey like he was Moore. knocked out too. And Davey two, Moore. did he kick his leg? Was he kicking his leg after that? And shaking? First he was shaking it. Sorry? Hello? Uh, Guys, yeah, his, audio, his audio is gone. Listen, you said, the other week, you said Pirog outpointed um, Danny Jacobs and barely won. They knocked him out. I never said he barely won. Come on, oh dude. Oh my God! If you didn't say, I never said he yeah. barely won. Come that, on, that man. Was, that was naya. <laughs> that was abuse. I no, said, no, I said that Danny Jacobs. He got knocked down. He was out, right? He, cause he called. He said, "Oh, he only got to three. The man got to five. But he got back up. He got back up. He was getting back up, and and De and Bird pushed him back down, right?" That's what he was saying. That's all I was saying in that fight. There you go. Sean Newton's agreeing with me. He said the stop stoppage was fast. He only got hit with one big shot. He was being defensive fighter and avoiding most of those shots. See, Sean Newton man, agreeing. He's disagreeing with you. He got knocked out, man. That's two against. I done nah, seen that fight a hundred times. Oh, yes, on, he man. did. He got he, knocked he out. Can't, he, he, can't, got he can't make an right, argument for no, maybe man. a quick stoppage. He got knocked yeah. out. He was hurt. He was, he, was, he was hurt. He was hurt. He was hurt, and he was not defending himself. And remember, he got knocked down the round before, right? Yeah, and then after yeah. we came into this round. Yeah. yeah he was hurt. He was going to win that fight. Him hey, man. Hey, listen. Move. Hey, what do you need? What's, like, what's standing on the chat, man? What's standing on the chat? The same thing. Um, Newton was saying the stoppage was fast. He only got hit with one big shot. He was... He was being himself. He, he was being himself a defensive fighter, avoiding most of those shots. And I agree. Sean, right. Sean didn't watch the fight, new. Hey, what you need? All right. Hey, what you need? Let's let's all right. Let, let's change the update the film. Let's go back in to um the Castillo and Roger Duran. So you still your argument all right, is all right. All right, cool. Go ahead. That, that, that's good. That's good. Your argument is still saying that um that 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 Luis Castillo is one of the all-time lightweight weight champions and he'll beat Roberto. He's better than Roberto Duran, right? What I'm basically saying, my argument is this. People oh, yeah. talk about Roberto Duran being the greatest lightweight ever. Yeah. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Right. And I challenge it by saying Castillo became world champion and after that had much more high level opponents and Name prominent him. opponents Name. than Roberto Name. Duran. That's all Name I said. Him. Sorry? Name the opponents. He first fought against Stevie Johnson, seven-time defending world champion, who was beaten in between by Cesar Bazan. He then went is, on. Um, he, is he better than Ken Buchanan? Yeah. Duh. No. Duh. No. Duh. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Duh. Duh. Thank you very much, Jay. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. 
I agree with not, that's the y'all opinion. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that bullshit but right there. But let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. We're going on. We're going on with the next why, guy. Why? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Why is Stevie Johnson not better than Buchanan? He's better. Please explain. Please explain. Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead, Chris. I'm talking I'm about curious. who did Steve? I'm just saying y'all going by technique or resume. Technique. Just who's oh. the better fighter? Nah, no, 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 no technique, technique no, and resume. No, technique no, and no, resume. Oh no, no, resume, resume, resume. Go ahead, resume. Both, 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 both. Okay, let's break down all the opponents. Stevie Johnson lost to Caesar Bazan, and he um Castillo beat um Caesar Bazan, and they had a little trilogy. Um, Stevie Johnson lost to um. Castillo, which I thought he should have um, won one of them. I, I thought he should have won the second one. You know, I don't, I don't yeah, but he was he a good technical fighter, but he ain't really do shit though. It, like who did he beat? I mean, Natty. Yeah, who did he beat? If that's the case, you're putting him up there. I'm just wondering who. who I, I'm my argument is based on straight technique. I've seen Buchanan fight, and I've seen Stevie Johnson fight, and yeah. I think that that would be a. a Oh, uh, you know what? You know, Cam Buchanan was an undisputed, undisputed, champion. Yeah, undisputed, undisputed champion. Yeah, he's undisputed. Undisputed champion. No doubt. And it, and it was uh, it was less lesser belts when Buchanan was undisputed, right? And right. the port. Yeah, what what listen, about? Listen, listen, listen. He beat Carlos Ortiz, who's a legend, a Puerto Rican legend. He beat Ortiz. Yeah. Why, why that? Yeah. What are you talking about? And, but, uh, hold up, beats. What the port? The um, the trilogy. Oh, um, direct. I'm doing this up there. I got the box record. I'm pulling up my box record too. I'm doing the same. The trilogy. Thing. Duran beat, but he beat the trilogy after he fought Roberto Duran. Correct. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we're talking about at at the time Roberto Duran fought him. Who would he beat? Oh, but you, your yeah, but after Ruben all, Navarro for the WBA, Johnson was you can't really challenge that. these on that. They resume, you can't challenge their resume. But Mr. Mosley did not want to fight him. Right, I remember that too. But you can't go there. You're going by resume. You can't go by he could afford this dude. He was a world champion before he, he beat my guy. That's who he was. Yeah. And the, about that, what's he Johnson beat Angel Man Freddy? Hey, hey, what do you need? Read the chat, man, because you might get flamed up. Out. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. You might be getting you. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. They said, um, they said Sean Newton said Duran would kill Castillo. He said Duran dominated and moved up to beat the best guy at 147 to show his level. And he said Duran is the one and only legit guy who won four weights at traditional weights. But we talking about a lightweight, Sean Newton. Lightweight. Yeah, but you can't down. even compare Castillo to Duran at lightweight. <laughs> We're talking about at championship level. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, I was just making. You gotta say, let's go. You gotta name something, him, boy. I said Angel Man Freddy. Stevie just don't cut him, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you need? What you need? Sorry. Go ahead, man. Yeah, name let, let what you need name the resume of, of Louis Castillo. Go ahead. No, okay, so that was Stevie Johnson, right? Ken Buchanan, he beat Ruben Navarro. That's how he became undisputed. He he uh he became uh, uh uh he became champion against a guy called Ismael or Ismael no, Laguna. No, what you need? What right? you need? No, what, 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 now what do you need? Read out. No, tell us. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me keep it focused. Yeah, Castillo's right. your argument. Read. What's Castillo? Tell us. The, 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 right. The, the, so he fought Stevie Johnson, who was undefeated for um, a while. In, uh, 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 Stevie Johnson. Where am I? Yeah, Stevie Johnson, right? And that was the upset of the year because nobody thought he would beat Stevie Johnson. No one thought Robert, uh, 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 Castillo would beat Stevie Johnson. Let's move on. He then faced Cesar Bazan, right? Yeah. Then he fought uh, what I call a stay busy fight, even though it was a championship fight. I didn't think this dude could uh, beat Castillo, and he gave him the bomb treatment. That was Su Ho Yu, so I don't count that one because that's a bomb fight as far as I'm concerned. He fought Fred Lott, and that was a bomb fight. Um, even though the guy had a lot of fights under his resume, it was a non-title fight, which should have told you something. Of course, um, and Stevie Johnson plays a bazaar too in a rematch. That's right. Yeah, I just said that. 
Um, okay. Before, yeah. Then and he neither fought, one of them is nominated as the top lightweights. Neither one of them guys you just mentioned, they ain't known as the, they ain't even in the top ten of all time of lightweights. No, they're not. No, they're not. Yeah, but but Floyd Mayweather is. There ain't no buts. They ain't in the top ten. You can't even compare them to Duran. He didn't beat uh, Floyd Mayweather. Once again, Floyd Mayweather is. He didn't beat him. He, he, him. he didn't beat him. He, he didn't beat him, but he fought him. Well, what? No, people, they don't matter. People they don't dispute, matter. And people dispute. People dispute. That's still the, day. That don't mean people nothing. Dispute, but wait, wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Oh, yeah. I'm saying people oh, yeah. dispute to this day that he possibly retained his title on that fight. I'm not saying he okay. won. But there's a case where you can say he retained his title. Well, he didn't win. He didn't win, so they don't matter. But that's a case, and he fought him twice. Ain't no case. You got to win. Resume, bro. And he fought him twice. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it. Then he fought Juan Lascano, who was a legitimate dude. You lost, man. Nobody would hear that. Wait, wait, wait. Not Juan Lascano. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. It was uh, yeah, Juan Lascano. Yeah, Juan Lascano. Juan Lascano. Oh, hey, uh, go, go to something else, Aaron, man. No one no, Juan Lascano is bullshit. Hey, no, hey, no, no. Hey, if Aaron says cool down, calm down. Hey, wait, stop, stop. Juan Lascano beat Stevie Johnson. He knocked him out in the 11th round. You need to stop, man. Listen to me. You, what you've done here, right? You, we were talking about his reign. So Floyd took the belt off him, and now you're talking about another reign. Are we talking about another reign right now? Yeah? Is that right? Because Floyd took the belt of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, hey, so listen. So, how many defenses did he have of the lightweight title before Floyd took it of him? Is that like four? Is it even four or three? What is it? Four or five? What is it? Four? It's one, two, three, four. Three. Three. And you're trying to say this guy. And now you're talking about his next reign. Next reign. Three. You're trying to say his next reign as a lightweight, right? Is that right? When he what? Because I, I saw that. Yeah, the- yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's, what I'm, that's why I stopped you, so you make sure you know. So okay. it's not all oh, there's one ring. You know what I'm trying to say? So continue what? on his next ring. Continue say that again? On, continue on his next reign of, of being a champion because he lost the Floyd. So that yes. reign stopped. And now he's done a new reign when he went against the vacant belt because I saw that fight against one one Lacano. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lacano. Okay, so yeah. this is his second reign. So continue. Yeah. And this guy's a legitimate guy because he beat Stevie Johnson. He also beat uh, uh, John John Molina. He also beat Jay-Z, Jesse James Leha, right? <laughs> so these are these are credible names at the time, right? He right? ducked Floyd. <laughs> he definitely ducked Floyd, right? But after that, he fought Joel Casamayor, right? He fought Joel Casamayor yeah. for uh, and? Uh, defended that title. Then he fought Julio Diaz, and and then he fought Diego Corrales. A weapon in that fight. He, he got knocked out. He got knocked out in the tenth <laughs> round. He sold the toe, and then he rematched. He rematched Diego Corrales and knocked him out in the first <laughs> round. He came in overweight, though. He came in overweight. They weren't even for no title. They weren't for no title because he came in overweight. They weren't for no title. They weren't no title there. So fair enough. Fair enough. But he did get his revenge though. No, no, no. Forget that. No, you're talking about. We're talking about lightweight. Look, man. Castillo is a great lightweight, but he ain't better than Duran. Nah, nah. He came out. You can't count that because he already didn't fight the weight. And there was no belt. So basically, you got two reigns of the lightweight title. He got knocked out against Castillo. He got beat by Floyd. But yet, you're saying this guy is better. He didn't get knocked out by Castillo. He got knocked out by Corrales. Sorry, Corrales. He got knocked out by Corrales. Yeah. And Floyd beat him twice, yeah? But you're, yet, you're saying this guy is better than Roberto Durant. Come on, man. Be serious. I said the, I said the level of opposition is... No. Okay. Okay. Tell me. Now, here, let's go to Durant. Let's go to Durant. Let's be fair. Let's go. All right. So this is Roberto Duran's resume here. We got on box red. At lightweight. At, at lightweight when he becomes first world champion, right? Yeah. All right. So the first guy he fights is Ken Buchanan, right? Then he goes on. He goes on afterwards. He goes on. All of Fame fighter. All right, all right. Okay. And then he goes on to fight. He's in the Greg Carter. Greg Potter. He's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. He's in the Hall of Fame right now. Greg yeah. Potter is the next guy. Ken Buchanan probably in the Hall of Fame, but Ke- Greg no, Potter. Not probably. No, no, no. Not probably. He's, He's in the Hall of Fame. Not probably. All right, all right, all right. right. Ken right. Porter. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ken Porter is the next dude. Anybody sure? know who Ken Porter is? 
Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Then he fought Lupe Lupe Ramirez. Do Anybody know, know who that is? Do you, do yeah, you I know, know, do you I know who Esteban de Jesus is? Yeah, I do. Now, we, 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 we get into it, we get into it, we get into it. Let's go, let's go. Let's keep it going. Then he fought Esteban de Jesus, and what did he do? He won? He won the fight? No, he beat him. Oh, in the has to. Okay, okay. Let's, keep moving, but, let's keep it moving. Then he nah, fought. Nah, hold on, hold on. Let me explain let's that win. Let me explain that. Esteban de Jesus is better than anybody on the damn Castillo resume. Hell no. Yes, hell yes no. he is, because he ranked hell in the top no. ten of lightweights. No. Don't say hell no. Yes, he is. You don't know what you're talking hell about. No. Yes, you don't know what you're talking about. Hell no. You don't know what you're talking about. You he just can never be better than Floyd Mayweather. Could never. So he you ain't win. He ain't win the fight. What are you talking about? You already lost that argument. You ain't want to. You ain't win the fight, bro. What are you talking about? Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Ain't no let's move on, man. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't watch fights. Let's move on. Let's move on. Stop there. Stop there. What you need. You gotta understand, here. When you mention guys like that, he has to beat these guys. He has to beat them. Like right? we're talking about guys who won. So when we talk about Hazel Stress, Chris has mentioned this guy, the top ten, really making him. All right. So what we're talking about, um, when we're talking about this year, we're talking about guys he's beat, right? And the guy we've got two, we've got one Hall of Fame. Got one guy ranked in the top ten lightweight of all time. You know what I mean? You stay you right there. This is even this. How many defenses right now? This is his fifth defense right now. But go on, continue. No, this is not his fifth defense. This is only. This is only his. It's not even. It's his second defense, technically speaking, but not really, right? But let's what? move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Jimmy Robertson. Jimmy Robertson. All right. And by the way, and by the way, Jesus de Jesus. Um, Esteban de Jesus was beaten by a number of other people, but we will we will go to that in another time. Yeah, right? yeah, you, but you um, he's still ranked in the top ten of all time. You don't know who he beat. Hey, 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 let's go on, let's go on, let's go on. Let me just finish. Ain't no let me let's go finish. on. You be saying finish. shit, and nobody can't reply. Esteban de Jesus. Let me finish the list, and then you guys can talk about. It. Nah, you can't just do that. You gotta let us talk on the win. Out there like that. Esteban de Jesus was an undisputed champion in his own right. There you go. None of the guys you're talking about. Have been thank you very much, Sean. Edward Verrett, Carlos Palmino, Saul Mambe. Okay, thank you. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Them fights, I don't give a fuck what Sean say. Fight. That ain't when you still fight. losing the debate. Let's move on. Let's move on. So after that, we have uh, Jimmy Robertson, right? Jimmy Robertson. Oh, this think is of, taking up too guys, much time. You he done lost the debate. About, what do you guys think about Jimmy Robertson? Then he fights Juan Medina. Who, who's, who's Juan Medina? Javier Ayala. Who's that? Who's who's Gerardo Ferrat? Listen, he's mocking right. all these people. He's beat Soul Mambi. Because, like, man, because Soul either Mambi. they are green or they are journeymen. Shut your man, Errol. Errol, let's come on, man. Hector, this dude that's Hector talking Thompson. to be talking. Hector Thompson. Hector, Hector, Hector Thompson. This dude talking, man. Everybody know Castillo resume is shit at Lightweight. Hey, 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 and we need, oh. we need to stop there. The thing is, the argument was done when the guy had a Hall of Fame recommend, Hall of Fame uh, guy on his resume, and he already had a top. But team. the guy don't got the skills like uh, uh, like uh, Casemiro. Uh, I don't that know that. The they ain't never fought. I don't know. Yeah, nah, you can't say that. Your dude, your dude got bullshit on his resume. Buchanan, Buchanan ain't faced the opposition like a Casemiro. Buchanan ain't faced the opposition the like a Casemiro. You know this. You know this. The you know this. The but let's keep well, it moving. Rabbit Garcia wasn't shit. Carell was beat him. What are you talking about? Hector Thompson is the next. I can't do the base with him, man. He already lost anyway. Hey, what you need? Let hey, me see. you guys don't want me to finish this argument. Man, the argument's done. Who's Doc McClendon? Who's Doc McClendon? We're already done, man. All right. Hey, what don't have to do you what you need? Listen to me, bro. Right? Already, you already look how many title defenses already, and it's all the fame. It's the argument's over. You don't need to go. No, no. The argument's not over because no, I said it. Yes, it is. It is. is. You just want to keep going. The argument is over, bro. You can talk about all the fame how much you want. That way, yeah. That's what it's based on, brother. Hey, what you need? Do you know why it's over what you need? Because already you're seeing a whole string of defenses and he's got Hall of Fame people, people in the top two. And the thing is what you need. The, fa the fact of the matter is you don't know these guys. We do. And we're telling look these man, guys. Look, no, man, no, no, look, man. Don't, don't be need. saying that. Don't be saying that again. Don't we, be saying we, that. We need, we need. I look at fights, man. <laughs> I look at fights. Hey, hey. 
Beats, beats. Who's the guy? Who's the guy? What's the um? Who's the guy when it? Um, what's the guy? Hey Zeus, shit. Who's that guy? See that guy there, the top ten, right? Right. Right. What you need? You don't know who that is. What you need? You don't know. You don't know. Who See, the thing is, he's talking. He wanted to know who's what to talk. Who's, 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 talk? Talk? who's, who's here? What? You don't know the thing, and people who are trying to explain the resume, you want. No, 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 no. Jesus, what? Hey, oh, you mean um, you mean the guy Esteban de Jesus? That's what you're talking about. Yes. I know Esteban de Jesus. That's Tell that's talk, one of yeah. his that's one of his highly recognized names. And I said he lost to him the first time. They they fought three times. Uh, yeah, but they I, are truly. Right, 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 right. Hector Thompson. All right, that's a credible name. Hector Thompson's a credible name. Beat some credible people of his day. That's a credible name. Duck McClendon is not. Good. Hey, let's music. go, Arrow. Let's Itchy just talk Matsu. about something else. This, hey, hey, this day on. over. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Day over. Later Errol. on, after Durant fight for some credible Burn opposition. Before that, he didn't. But, but to his credit, the boy could box. The boy could box. I watched the fight. Hey, Tony Garcia, Tony hey, Garcia, Errol. Lennon Tavares, Armando Mendoza. You're talking too much, right? You're you you're talking too much and not letting no one talk. That's the thing. You're talking doing way too much talking. Way too much. We, we, you know what? You guys are trying to <laughs> dispute me, but you're not really giving anything. You ain't giving nothing to me. You gained a whole bunch of bullshit names. You're way out of your depth. They're yeah. bullshit names because they're bullshit. You're, you're talking too much and you're way out of Armando Mendoza is nobody. He was fighting bums. And then in between the pattern, like Jesus Chavez, he fight a, a, a critical, a legit fighter. We and need, you guys, you we, guys know we, we need, need. Hey, we need. Let me ask this question, right? And this, this will wrap this up, right? Real quick. How many Hall of Fame people has Castillo? I don't give a fuck. I don't no, give a no, fuck how many Hall of Fame. Well, well we give a fuck. Debate over. Debate over. Back in the day, guys no, get Hall of Fame. We got no Hall of Fame was on his resume. And that's great. That's great. Don't get me wrong. No, no resume. I agree with that. I agree. No but what resume. What I'm saying right now is no, I'm looking at the guy that's at lightweight. I'm looking at the guy that's lightweight, man. One sec. One sec. One sec. Jesus. Right. Everyone get one minute because you're, you're talking over everyone. It's out of order what you're doing now. What you're doing is out of order now. You're talking over everyone too much, way too much, right? Let me finish off the list, and then afterwards you guys can talk. Oh, That's dude, what I'm saying. You know why you can't even let me finish no way, off the list. You know why you can't do that? Because the list is You don't let me finish off the list. You're not going to finish the list because the list is too long. It's not that long, it's man. We long, don't man. Do you know how many things? We know how many defenses he's made, bro. You're getting to 15 near 20 defenses, man. It's too long. No, some of them were not. Did, the uh, some of them were not titled defenses. Man, it's, it's, hey, listen, bro. It's, we're we're telling you. Defense, we're right. telling you. Hey, listen. I'm telling you, bro. It's 15. You're not talking about 15 defenses with us guys. You're not gonna do it. It already. Listen, with Castillo, it was already done, and I already pointed out to you. He got no Hall of Famers on his resume. Nah, listen, nah. Can you, can you, can you, can you, Some of them have their careers are not even no, done. So how you can say that? that. No, they haven't that. got into the Hall of Fame yet. That's all you say. You You're looking at a guy way back in time and comparing him to a guy now. So Stop. obviously you have more Hall of Famers. Dude, so you're not really being fair. You haven't stopped for five seconds to let no one talk. You realize that? You realize that? Go ahead, Beast. Jesus Christ. What do you need on mute, man? Go ahead, Beast. Ken Buchanan has beat at least two or three undisputed lightweight champions, at least. Yeah, Sol Mambi, he Duran beaten twice as a lightweight. He was a light well, a, a, um, a light welterweight champion himself, right? What what's this guy talking? You're talking crazy talk, absolutely crazy talk. You know, to put these this is an undisputed lightweight champion, one of the hardest punchers recognized as the thing. I mean. Well, are you saying you compile more data than the, than the, than the guys on, on Duran? It's ridiculous, man. You're, you're talking about guys who held single belts and picked off little fragments of belts here and there and comparing them to undisputed champions. You say it sounds silly. You did this, you know, now, now you sound childish. It's done, man. It's done. And I'm going to talk about by that, right? It's, it's silly, right? Because the uh, were undisputed and a guy had one belt. Furthermore, you're right, maybe what you need, some of the guys are not in the Hall of Fame, but dude, it's going to take a long time before someone's going to be considered in the Hall of Fame. And to be honest with you, yeah, it's already done already, so... Ray Lampkin was a number, was, was a mandatory, and he, he, he flattened him. He was a mandatory. So, man. 
Yeah, yeah. So, man, they don't talk about that, man. Let's move on, man. Let's move on anything else, man. Because hey, what you need, I tell you what you need. Comp- he's on it though. He's on it. I give it to. I give it to him. Like, no, it should be. But see, you had to block him so people could talk. So that's, so that's a bit out of order. Yeah, well. You had to mute him to let people talk. Yeah. He's pretty bad. With it. But I guess you know what I mean. He, he, he come out fighting though. He feel like there's the walls. Everyone's against him though. But I guess it's. I guess it really. It's, 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 that's cowardly debating. If you don't let someone else say a point, that's cowardly. It's not even debating because now you're now you're just filibustering and filling up air to stop someone talk to, to combat you. That's that. I mean, what what's that? Yeah, you know what? You I, know how people talk. I, I, what, but listen, what he needs cool, but what I think, yeah, we're gonna leave it. when it comes to like them sort of things. We already know because it's kind of a trap. When I'm asking what you need that question, what you need is definitely gonna argue, but whether. His point is going to be accepted by us a lot. It's a different thing, bro. It's not going to be. This is loaded, and this is where it's going to descend to you. Because we was just cool in the chat, and I think we try and keep that way. What you need, you can unmute yourself now, man, if you want to. Probably not. It's up to you, man. Unmute yourself if you want to, man. No one else in the chat's gone quiet. Everything's gone quiet. <laughs> I think, boy, I think, I think we've filled enough, man. I think we've filled enough, man. I don't want everyone burn now. I don't know one. Get to the point where no one comes back onto the, the debate no more, man. I shouldn't have to meet no one, but I guess what it is. Anyone else have got anything to say tonight? Man, I mean, I don't know, man. It just descends into chaos a little, man. Yeah, yeah, you man. Guys can, you guys can hear me? Yeah, go ahead, what you need. Go ahead. It's all good. I mean, it's it's just, I, I like I like lively discussions, and it got lively for a minute. You talking. There's no discussion. Yeah. You talking. It got lively for a minute. I no, mean, it's no, 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 no discussion. We're just you talking. Hey, come on now, B. Let, let him, go ahead, let him, go ahead, what you mean, say what you're saying, go ahead. I mean, I'm, look, 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 this is all I'm saying. I'm saying that sometimes, you know, we look at things a certain way, you know, and all I'm saying is sometimes you just take a second look at it. That's all I'm saying. That's it. Man, that's man. all I'm doing. All right, that's that's cool, that's cool. I'm only getting to the point where we're getting at each other, because look, we, we do great hangouts, all of us together. When we're all focused, there's no point getting into this because you know what I'm saying, like. But you know, leave it. Just leave it as that, man. Leave it as that, man. I, I ain't got anything else we want to bring. Hey, man. I tell you what, I enjoy you guys in the chat, Sean Newton. It's always good to have you over, man. Causing trouble over there. You know what I mean? The chat. <laughs> hey, well, who else are we had come in the chat? We had. Um, no, I got because the thing is, man. Like you know, like I, I take pride in my channel. So if I'm gonna get descended in, into a debate, like. That's got to be clear, because you're talking about the greatest lightweight ever. Which one of the guys have you put up there could beat Sugar Ray? Forget the lightweight range, just weighing up that resume. Which one of the guys that you pick could beat Sugar Ray Leonard and draw with Hag- and and get and go the distance with Hagler and beat Bart? Which one of them? Which one of these guys could do that? Have went on from their from their from their thing. Why do you think Duran's up there? It's not just they put him up there That's as right. the greatest lightweight, but they that is the greatest light because it, the rest of the stuff too. Exactly, exactly. That's my point. I agree with you on that wholeheartedly. So what? what so what, so what, where was Castillo near that? No, absolutely not. But I'm talking. What my argument was in the context of when he was lightweight champion. You see, that's the thing with me. I'm saying certain things, but I think a lot of people they hear me, but they they kind of get tripped <laughs> off because I'm so controversial in how I put across something. But when you really examine it, then you ask yourself. Yeah, but really. No, not for really what? No, no. The guy he took it from, Ken Buchanan, beat at least three undisputed champions in his own right. Right? De Jesus was a disputed champion, undisputed champion, in his own right. These guys were the best boxers of the days, undisputed. Stevie Johnson, come on, man. Who, what, what? He, he won, you're talking about guys who held single belts. You see, that's where I have a problem with you. When you started tear down somebody to I'm boost somebody up, that. I have a problem with that. Yeah, but you see... Stevie, jo- Stevie you Johnson was a very difficult southpaw who was I, aggressive. I, 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 this and this- know, sorry, what you need? I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. We know he's good, but the thing is, yeah, at the time when Castillo and Stevie Johnson were fighting, you know the best lightweight was Shane Mosley at the time? He was the very best lightweight. Right? Exactly. Yeah, he was uh-huh. the best lightweight. So what we're saying is that when Castillo got the belt, if he faced Shane Mosley and then the other guys in lightweight to become that guy... Then the argument, then we could begin, but then we can start the argument. The fact that you have one belt and you you hold on to that one belt, that's why it's not in. The, that's why they're not in the Hall of Fame. Like people like when they hold all the belts together unified, that's when they start thinking this is greatness because to hold all the belts 
that's very hard to do. Like anyone in this day and age, it's very hard to do. That's why when the argument is brought up, it's kind of a trap on you, and it's still yes. you get yeah, because you don't you because you, you're seeing it as one belt, but we already know, but it's undisputed. We already know this already, so. I know, I know it was undisputed, but you was talking about one more thing, which you, which is a very valid point, which is guys were willing to fight other guys, right, at that time, and it's not so. Well, it, it's not really true at that time either, because actually we could cite examples for going all the way back to SSR and Charles Burley. But what I'm saying is that at the same time, if you don't have the opportunity to fight somebody, you can't, you can't say that you're not good because of that. If you, what do you mean opportunity? What do you mean they didn't want to fight Shane Mosley? They were all, Shane Mosley. That's why Shane Mosley, regardless. No, of what, Shane Mosley, according to my boy uh, 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 Natty Turner, didn't want to face Stevie Johnson. That's no, what Natty the Turner was saying. Is, the bottom line is they didn't fight each other. So yeah. that so and Durant fought everyone. So that this that cancels the match. Cancels it out already. Cancels, well, 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 well. Let me put it to no, this no, way. No, let me finish my point because you you <laughs> pick it up. Let me finish. Right. Show, when show, the show. stories are weighing it up. They weigh up what you did, not who didn't. Oh well, he didn't fight because of that reason. We don't get into reasons. We go into documented who you beat. What's the KO percentage? What 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 impact did you have in the game? You if if you're gonna walk around, cause I, look look man, I I don't want to look stupid. My cha channel debating things. If you're gonna come and tell me that Castillo has had the same impact on the lightweight division as Roberto Duran, that really has to be looked into. This, this, this just sounds crazy. It shouldn't even really be a debate. We, this, we should never be spending this much time on a debate like that. No, never. It shouldn't. Because well, the but Castillo was the man at lightweight, and that's why he clashed. He did fight Diego Corrales. No, but listen, listen, listen. He did fight Diego Corrales. He did Diego fight Corrales. Diego, Corrales. Diego, Diego Corrales is no He did it three times. You're listen, talking about Esteban de Jesus? Hey, listen, right. listen, listen. Diego Corrales, Diego Corrales is not. Diego Corrales was not necessary. I mean, he he boiled himself down to get into lightweight. He's probably a world weight, and he just based. What I have to do with anything, man? It's no, no, what I'm, no, what I'm trying to say. No, listen, what I'm trying to say to you, yeah. He beat Bear Corrales is not. He's not that. He were He were He weren't that dude, bro. But he right. already, Floyd, 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 beat, Floyd already beat him, right? Floyd already beat him before that point, and he already got bashed up by Joe Casamayor. So already he was coming, and he's so not that. Buchanan came in undefeated. That's what your argument is. Did Buchanan came in come in undefeated? Buchanan's an undefeated champion, my friend. Champion. He didn't come in undefeated. So what's the point? So, uh, listen, you don't understand it's about who you fought, right? Understand, you understand about undisputed champion. Yeah, but um, he didn't come in. He didn't come in undefeated. So the point about uh, Diego Cross being defeated by Floyd is a null point. No, 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 no. I'm trying to say he got bashed up and knocked out. Did you? Did 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 then came behind him get bashed up no, and knocked out? No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't get bashed up and knocked yeah, out. I give it the fact. He was bashed out his entire no, career. No, so I, it's what I'm trying to say to you. When he came to that fight, it was he was supposed to lose that fight. He wasn't a favorite in that fight. Castillo was because he's the biggest, supposed to be stronger dude. That's what I'm just saying to you. And it, and again, it's only for one. I don't know about that one. I don't know about I'm that. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. It was bad. I already watched the full year. Everyone knows the stats. He was supposed to get bashed up. It was a featherweight coming in, coming and challenging a strong lightweight. That's what it was. It was a transition of him going through the weights. When he finished up his career, he finished up at welterweight, man. He's a six foot guy, bro. You know what I mean? He's a, he's a phenomenal freak, man. But he wasn't necessarily good at any one weight. That's why he finished at multiple weights, right? And I'm trying to say to you, yeah, when we put arguments against arguments, yeah, right, this is what you need. This is our we the level where we That's are. We, we need no, focus as to no, what we're arguing no, no, because no, we're no, all no, over the place, but it's no, cool. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, when we're arguing with each other, yeah, this is where this is the status where we are. This level. We are straight up. Is he ATG? That means is he got Hall of Fame resumes, people on his resume. That's where we are. That's the level where that's the level where we come from. So when we when we're arguing, then is he was he an undisputed champion? That's where we start. That's our basis. That's where we start from. If it's not all that, then we start throwing things away. We come from where historians come from, and all the greats they do this. This is what they do. They don't go for one belt and say this guy is that. They don't do that. When they talk about Triple G, trying to say Triple G is got gonna beat Marvin Hagler, how can he beat Marvin Hagler's regular uh, record when he wasn't an undisputed champion? But now Hopkins can do that because he had all the belts in the division. Now you can lay claim. And in fact. When he became undisputed champion, how many defenses did he actually make from that to beat Hagler? But they said, yeah, he beat Hagler, so he beat Hagler. And that's that. That's where it comes from, bro. Like, we, we, you know what I mean? It's hard to argue these things, bro. It's you very see, hard to argue. All right, my, my boy, I'm saying, though, that, yes, you're coming with those things, but that's from a fan's perspective. Uh, from a boxing perspective, what is it 
that you're really looking at. You're looking at levels. Like what my boy was saying there, Bird Sugar, before he left, he had to go. I, um, he was saying that skill-wise, you can't compare uh, 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 Buchanan to a guy like Stevie Johnson. You just can't. And uh, to me, it makes no sense. And then the level of opposition, you look at Stevie Johnson, he, he still was more consistent. He fought opposition. He beat them. The only guy he beat was Cesar Bazan. He re he rematches. So when we when we argue in these points, what you have to take those things into account. Can you send a link to where Bird Sugar said that? Yeah, send the, Yeah, send he the was, link. He was, yeah. No, he said it just now in the hangout. You just roll back the hangout. You'll hear him Bird talk sugar. about. It. What Bird, I'm saying is not Bird, Bird Sugar, not Bird yes. Sugar. Um, the Black Bird Sugar. Um, my boy, uh, Natty Turner, not Bird Sugar, the Black Bird Sugar. Yeah. But what I'm saying anyway is, <laughs> what I'm saying to you is that um. No, we was talking about the proper bird sugar, bro. No, 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 we ain't talking about it. Talking that's what we know. I was, I was. I, I know, was. I know, I know, I know. People, I know. people you do things like that. See, because people are listening, right? You've got to take it a little more serious. When you say things like that, people are listening, and they'll think that's the real bird sugar. No, man, come on. No, we no, don't no, talk no, about you, Nazi Turner, you, man. You people, Nazi Turner, the black bird sugar. <laughs> hey, you know what? Loudest, loudest. No, he's making me laugh, now. It's funny. Loudest, loudest. <laughs> Hey, listen, 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 you believe it, because what you need, I'll get you in another one, the next one we're going to talk next week, probably Larry Good Hogan. stuff, good stuff, good The stuff. next one we're going to get you is Corey, you say Corey Sanders hits harder than, than George Foreman, that next, that's for next week. Didn't I renege on that though? Okay. Even though he had a good kill percentage, I still reneged on it. All right, fair enough, fair enough. He left that Okay, but all right, the last one was Benitez. You said Benitez is overrated. Wolf and Benitez is overrated. He's still, oh, that's, that's, that's common. In, in a way, man. In a way, in a way, yeah. Yeah, let's kill this because he wasn't overrated, man. Let's just call it the call, man. This is not. That's this is becoming crazy right here. Crazy talk. But look, look, look. You know what? You know what? When I say these outlandish statements, I feel like I'm kind of, in a way, Destroying what these 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 great fathers did to build no, 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 that, not, we, no, no, that no, we all no, build on. That's, that's not that's not, not where. I'm, hey, no. let me speak. Let me speak for. Let me speak for. Yeah, you burn it too much. Other people got to talk too, no, man. I want to. No, I want to hear his. I want to hear his mindset in terms of when he's challenging. Go ahead. Why? Why? Why do you feel like? You're, yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to defame them or on these things. Or because without them, we we no boxer could build on nothing. Everybody watch these guys. What I was saying, again, the point I was making was in a context. We were talking about uh, he was the greatest defensive fighter. He was one of the greatest defensive fighters when uh, Sugar Ray Leonard fought him, right, and beat him. And I was saying, well, he ain't all that like that. That's what I was saying. But you know what? What I, I want to do because, you know, as fans, we, we, we kind of chop down fighters and their careers and stuff without really – Thinking too much. I think I'm gonna. I'll be careful. You know, how I, do you know Harold? Do you know guys like Harold Weston? No, man. I don't know anybody like Harold Weston. I don't you even know, know who that you is. You know Antonio Cervantes. You know any of these? I, I don't know who Antonio right, Cervantes right, is, man. We'll stop debating. We'll stop debating. All right, man. All right. But what I'm saying anyway is, like I said, I'm gonna try and couch how I say what I say because these are people's careers and stuff. And sometimes you say certain things. And uh, it, 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 it can, it, you know, like when I said Brandon Reels, you know, he's a punching back. No, no, no. Brandon Reels is a good inside fighter and so on. I think I, I need to be careful how I say certain things about certain fighters. I know I'm very provocative on here, and that's awesome because I know people are going to go and actually look into stuff, you know, and that's, that's important. And even if I am uh, controversial and even wrong, I'm sure it makes a lively discussion, right? But yeah. Yeah, that's that's all I gotta say. Nah, that's nah, fine, fine. I understand that. I understand that. You, you, you trying to, I know, you trying to go against the grain, but the grain, it's a hard grain to go against. But you know what? I, I just analyze, analyze things. That's all I'm doing. I'm analyzing. I'm, I'm looking to see what really is and what really is. Well, that's the, all. That's the thing. You, 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 like, like object, like look, I'm being objective. You're not doing that. You said that Benita's got stopped because of a foot injury. His foot injury. That didn't happen. That's not what happened. <laughs> We still tripping off of that, man. We still tripping. Yeah, because it's false information. Beast is still up for that. Beast, beast. Hey, listen, listen, let's leave it alone. Let's, hey, listen. What you need? Chris Caban, boxing beast around. Now turn up. The yeah. Blackbird Sugar. There you go. There you go. Hey, man. Hey, hey, it's been a, it's been a great hangout. I'm not gonna. There's no point in carrying it up. My mind's hit. My head's hurting, bro. But you know what? Hey, oh, man. hey, listen, hey, listen, fight fans, listen, hey. We appreciate it, and you should, the rest of the guys in the 
in the chat. Make sure you're here next week. There's not much fights next week, but we're still going to be here, and I'm sure we'll come up with topics. What you need might be battling back against some of the stuff you're saying, but or even not, we'll find out a topic. If anything, hey, Beats, next week you got your boxing quiz. Beats, hey, everyone needs to sharpen up on the box. And in the chat, uh, you're allowed to answer the questions as well, but don't be trying to go on box with. So Beats, Beats will have a quiz <laughs> next week. So uh, that note, we're going to leave on a happy end. Um, for what you need, Boxing Beast around Chris Caban, EJ Boxing Live. We catch another one. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. peace.